Alright fellas, you guys are live. It forces you to take my mix up. So once you're blocking that, I'm gonna dash at you. And I'm either gonna dash at you and light kick, or I'm gonna dash at you empty and low kick. Yeah. And you have to guess which one I'm gonna do. If you, if you block my uh, light kick successfully, even after that, I can dust. Or I can do that. That beats the dust. But so try that again. That won't work against that. Um, well, what, what I will do is like, so, I'll say, do that again. Do that again. Okay. You might be able to, uh, like, jab. With good timing, I might be able to. Yeah. I might be able to. You might be able to. I, honestly, what I would do in that situation is, uh, if you see that you block the top one, uh, just block low next. Because if I hit you with that dust and you block low and it's not a counter hit, I can't get shit off. But if you press a button and I get that dust and I get a counter hit, I can get a lot. It essentially just comes down, I know that's a lot, but it comes down to either blocking high or low. If you guess right, you can fuck me up if you guess wrong. Let's rock. Alright, welcome to the Faku Kuroneko Gaming Stream tonight. Uh, we are here every Tuesday in Lansing uh, at Fiverr Gaming on the west side. Come on out and play. Uh, we play every single Tuesday night. Uh, doors open 5.30 for casuals. You can come a little bit earlier too. Set up and uh, get some practice with you and your homies or whatever. And then um, bracket starts at 7. Um, if there's a chance that we have a small tournament tonight, we will be running a round robin tournament tonight. Um, and you guys can catch all the Guilty Gear action. So yeah, uh, stay tuned. Uh, about seven o'clock, we're going ahead and pause stream, and then uh, once we get our bracket figured out, uh, we will uh, go on ahead and get started. So just enjoy um, the two homies playing right now. And if you are new to Strive, you are more than welcome to come out and play, and we will help you as best as we can to get better, because we are trying to get as many players here as possible. We are slowly getting, we've been getting bigger over the weeks too. Um, I think this is probably gonna be the smallest bracket we've ever had in the last like month and a half, two months since this game dropped, so. Turn down. Is that his re-jump? That's sick. Yeah. Yeah, that, oh my God! 
Oh my god! Oh my god. What you guys watching? Dragon Ball Fighters, and Ooh. it gives you a hard knockdown. Wow. I want to see this. Wow. Yo, Griswold, thanks for the like, bro. Appreciate it, dog. Hey, Griswold, Dragon Ball starting back up. Yo, Griswold, the new Dragon Ball update's looking sick as fuck, boy. I'm about to go smoke really quick, and then uh, come back. I'll probably run some casuals with the homies. And then, uh, yeah, so we'll be back uh, with commentary in a little while here, so... Enjoy these guys uh, playing for a little bit, all right? After Devante's done showing him some crazy Zamasu tech. I see Matt over there leaning back, chilling out. <laughs> all right, while they're playing, we're going to go sm uh, step outside for a cigarette really quick, all right?
That was a good break. Thank you. Shout out to Caitlin for the share. That was a good counter. There you go, yep. That little lightning bolt is really good for air-to-air -air situations because of how quick it comes out. 
good for shit like damn. All right, good overhead. Oh, went for dust, miss. Another overhead, low, 50-50s. Whoa, that's awesome. That was good. Good grab. What's he gonna do? Woo! Oh no, you should have ride the lightning. Oh shit! That did something. My man, ah, oh, damn, that was really that was a good walk back right there, bro. You had that. Um, if you backdash too, you're invincible. If I backdash, if you back, if you would have backdash, he would have went right through you. You're invincible on backdash. Oh really? So in, yeah, in certain situations, if you see someone coming down at you, if you know you can backdash, don't be afraid to backdash. You can backdash through shit. Okay. I was playing against an I know, and she did like the little guitar air thing or whatever, and I backdashed right through and got a massive. Here's what I was talking about. Busted. You gotta really respect them now, don't you? Yeah, that's what I thought about. You can do that now. Mm -hmm. So, like, right here, he can make you guess. And that's what the new local can So now he has a region. I don't know. He's never really been a character for me. Chelsea! Yeah. yeah. Made him dummy good. Is he like really good now? Yeah. Everyone's really good now on Dragon Ball. Everyone's, everyone's good now. Even Videl's ass is good now. They made Jiren way more relevant now, oh, yeah, too. Yeah. They made Jiren extra monster. relevant. Okay, so Android 18 good. Oh. Oh, man. Is that you or me? Super special. command grab. <laughs> the disrespect. <laughs> Go to hell. <laughs> Can I hop in? Never. Okay. Okay. There we go. All right. I'm about to hop in. We'll get more commentary going once the tournament actually starts. Yeah, the numbers. Hey, yo. Hey, what's going on, bro? Not much. We're doing pretty good. I finally decided to uh, laugh some stuff to blow up people who do wake up, bro. Hell yeah. <laughs> I, I've just been abusing it a lot because everyone's just been letting me do it. Uh -huh. So like, when I play online, like, because I've been like fucking around like gaming the Celestial and stuff, people won't let me do it no more. So I've been I've been trying to like kind of chill out on it. Yeah, yeah. Like I know when to do it, when not to. But man, some days I just get that little that little itch in the back of my head, and I'm like, yeah. Like it's it's easy to freak out on people. So yeah. Yo, and I found um I found the Goryuki actually has an overhead. He gets an overhead option. What do you mean? You know the little spin out you have? Yeah. Uh, when I do the little spin, if I use um, Roman Cancel, it launches in four. Yeah. Oh, okay. it launches in four. Like it's really low to the ground, but it launches in four. Okay. Like, like a little King of Fighters. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, oh, he's got KOA? Is that spin plus? Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's for brain traffic and stuff. And then, can you backdash for it? Yeah, I, I believe, I'm, I could be wrong, but I think she's a
Yeah, that was really good.
saw you flying, I was like, oh shit, I'm just gonna try to uppercut it. Pray to God it works. What's up, Justin? Have you finally been playing or no? Oh my god, dude. What's up, bro? Nope. It's all you guys.
Stars and shit too, cool. Muhammad Irfan, thanks bro, appreciate it. Tournament will be starting soon. About to get set up on another setup real quick, then we'll get started. Yeah. 
up with you, dog. Yeah. Yeah.
Yeah. You keep doing S stroke yeah, with the throw. Yeah, yeah. Nice yeah. <laughs> second here. I have to get the seating. I was playing casual. Oh, you're good, bro. You're good. Uh, you're locky, right? Yeah, lock two. Like the Mario enemy. Yep. Hey, Dev, you got a USB? Somebody took mine last week. No, for the PlayStation controller. Somebody took mine. I might just be. I'm. I'll probably just end up having my matches on stream then. Yeah, I'm about to start it right now. Actually. Okay, cool. Hey, it's y'all two, so go on ahead. Oh, for real? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Good one, bro. I would have put on a banger if I knew. <laughs> hey, hey, just restart it. It's too late. It's too late. All right, we're 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 going straight into tournament now, guys. So I got Aquila versus uh, Fist of the Heavens. Uh, y'all cool with uh, three out of five since we have a small bracket? Sure. All right. Three out of five for our brackets, all right, for Strive. I didn't. I just hit generator. No, you're in sweat. Ha, what? Uh, I'll just go jump off a cliff. I'll just jump. I'll just jump off a cliff. Fear in Vegas, loathing, whatever that movie's <laughs> called. All right, so we're doing best two out of threes. Uh, small bracket today, so go on ahead and get that. Uh, Pula already looking strong. Man said he's here to blow me up this week. <laughs> yeah, I can't. We can't even run it yet until you're done over there. So we got six people. So I'll, I'll just run a normal ass bracket. So at the bracket, we'll probably end up running a bunch of casuals after that. So stay tuned for those two. Up by one. We got the good uh, dust confirmed. So this the heaven went on ahead and did a burst, and he got caught up after the burst. Pop up. Really cool corner combos from Aquila. Cool is out for blood today. So is Fist of the Heaven. He was doing really good in our sets earlier. Hey, Dev, can you turn down some? Thanks, bro. I'm Laban Zamasu. I believe in Fist of the Heavens. He's got this. Block the dust. Good. Alright. He's staying plus on those. Alright, Aquila using one of his projectiles. Ooh, dust. That's death. Uh, 
uh, uh, uh. Ouch. All right. Aquila on match point right now. Match point. Stairs, staircase, wall break. <clears throat> nice. Fist of Heaven is not out of this yet. Still in there. Good confirm. He's got mix up. Super! Oh, that killed. Let's go. Nice, block the dust. Good, good roaming cancel. Good run up and grab. Counter, burst. Big oof. Quilla on game point. Good grab, wake up grab. Just trying to keep him locked down with those 50 50s right now. Up. Oh, another super. It's just the heavens gonna bring it back and get on the board. Oh, super, he blocked the super. Oh, man. All right, Fist of the Heaven on the board with one. With one. Is he going to bring back the set? the heavens doing really good with this Ino pressure right now you just grab him out of that that was wild wall carries all right it's bit even back up again oh big counter that that's death All right, this is the heaven still holding on. Yo. <laughs> then we got Devante over here laughing at Dragon Ball because it's stupid as hell. <laughs> that game OD is shit now, bro. <laughs> He's even got an air dash out of that shit now. Look at the air dash. It looks so cool. You just do double click forward. It's a dash. <laughs> All right, Aquila 3-1. GG's, guys. Um, just stay right there, bro. Okay. Uh, Dr. Bob versus Aquila. Best of three. You ready? Um, give me one second. How's it going? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing my best. Yo, Matt.
Plus this. I'm gonna do my best to get Faust too. <laughs> He's about to bust out on us. Well, he just go wherever he wants to. Uh. He's like Magneto. He's like Magneto now. He's ridiculous. And look at the flight time. Can you like modify anything? Yeah, you know what I mean? So much more money. I guess we have to go. Come on. Look. I need to go I got a tournament match, so no commentary for this one. Oh, 
Whose big ass buttons are gonna win? Faust keeping Ram in the corner with some item pressure. Didn't get much off that. I noticed uh, Lacky uses those records a little more than most people. Seems to have good success with them against me. But Dr. Bob Faust is another animal. Hanging out with one sliver. What's this? Black two on the board. For this one, for this game. I think I'm calling it Phil Lacky two. Let's see if a Phil can get any kind of offense in here. Dr. Bob's Faust is really screwed. He's got the bigger hurt box with the fro going on right now. Let's see if the fro can get any point. I came in late, so I'm not sure what the set count is. Alright, let's see what the fro can do out of this. Should be able to nest some good damage. Oh, yeah. With the lost lane. Saves the super. See what's going to set up after this. With PRC. Dr. Bob needs to mount an offense, but he wants to back up. One good confirm out of either of them is the end of this round. All right, and the minions backfire. Is that a one to one, one to all? Is that one to one? Yes. So it's now one to one. Dr. Bob sticks with Faust. I'm watching uh, the new Dragon Ball Z patch rejunks. It's looking uh, very Marvel. Nice. Right. Uh, got a burst bait out of that, but didn't manage to capitalize off much. Dr. Bob's got corner pressure. See if he can do some weird Faust stuff. YRCs, there's just RCs all over the place. Looks like Dr. Bob might have this one wrapped up, but Aquila has escaped the corner, but he seems reluctant to press the buttons, which is not something you want to be with Ram. Right, no 6P from Aquila. Meteor is always nasty. I really like the way Dr. Bob manages to play defense and mount an offense at the same time. He's just really good at covering his options, capitalizing off mistakes, but you gotta be when you're playing Faust in this game. Appears to have done some kind of downloading here. Unless Aquila can mount a comeback. Puts the set two to one, Dr. Bomb. It's a quill, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, Are you gonna stick with Bob? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm gonna try. Oh. <laughs> right, good. Character select screen for a quill wants to try something different. I don't know much about this matchup. Oh! All I know is that the Giovanna Air Super hits every time. Mm, good old PS4 loading times. Alright, defensive start the round both plays. Faust scores first hit, sets up the item pressure. Falls on his own banana. Let's see if nope, no offense mounted there for Aquila. See if he's gonna use these items against Faust. 
one thing you gotta do if you want to beat boss, you can't let him have all his items. We got some pressure going on. A good throw. Let's see if we set anything up. We got meteor set up. Dr. Bob's all over the place with his spouse. Oh, mini Faust bombs everywhere. Yeah, I think uh, Dr. Bob's figured out the kind of offense to. Quilla right with some pressure, gets answered with some throw though. And Dr. Bob is on game point. Set point. Alright, we've got an offense mounted here by Aquila. Dr. Bob gets rid of his burst. Let's see if Aquila can get break that wall with this corner. Looks like he is. Any super? No super. Alright, safe jump? Nope. No, there would be no safe jump after that wall break. You need the super to do that. Aquila's content to sit on his life lead and hope Dr. Bob makes a mistake. And it looks like we got that mistake, so Aquila stays in it, keeping it interesting. Let's see if he can tie this set back up 2-2. Two two. Dr. Bob still has an Angie in his pocket if he feels he needs to answer uh, Aquila's Giovanna with something new. We didn't bait that burst, but getting it pulled out this early in the round is uh, something that Dr. Bob wants to do. So we got all these, a uh, lot of anvils blown up by his own bomb. All right. Now, I really feel like that could have uh, been, Quilla could have capitalized on that a lot better than he did. That might come back to haunt him. Here come the minions. And this is looking really bad for Quilla. Dr. Bob backs off a little bit. All right. Um, <laughs> oh. We're editing the names here, but it doesn't matter because DG's is over. Dr. Bob takes a set, uh, three to one. Did it's supposed to be. You no, know, I don't know. It was just still uh, our our names up there. Yeah, I don't know. That's what he even said it was me. Doctor Doctor Bob advances to winners finals. Is there any way I could switch that? I don't know. I don't know how to work this. I don't know how to work this shit either. You want me to get up? I don't know yet. Hold up. Let's see. Let's see if I can't switch these guys. Oh, yeah, I can swap this entrant. Did uh, we get someone dropping out? Or? No, 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 no. It just. It was, there we go. This said uh, this is how it's supposed to be. Alright, so we're moving on to uh, yeah. Lakitu versus. Or is it uh, Gay Z versus. Uh, <laughs> to me, it's uh, Vaku Kurenko. There you go. It's uh, Gazy versus Lakitu. <laughs> My friends be like, Kurt, fuck Kur and Necron. I'm like, Jesus Christ. Vaku Kuroneko. And you said Dr. Kuroneko? Bob won. Dr. You know, Bob won. Was? Yep. It was uh, 3 to 1. 3 to 1? Yep. Alright. Lakitu, you playing Smash? Okay. Can't even do loses right now. Well, oh, we're waiting. <laughs> Can't wait for him to get done playing in this game. It's about to be me and him, and then whoever wins plays you in uh, winners finals. Oh, I got it. Yeah. I got it. 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 I got it
casuals while we wait. And Dr. Bob always seems to have an answer to everything. It's hard as fast, it's hard to do with. Feels so suffocating. He's got like. Yeah. Yeah.
Not liking them casual sets. <laughs> I'm learning.
probably just run the rest of the sets on stream so there's a small break. You can just run casuals over there. Okay. Get an afro. I'm getting the fresh cut. I wish my afro looked that good. My shit fucked. Yeah. I make it look all good and then I, you know, it gets a little dry and it's like, <laughs> it's all depressing. Oh, look me. <laughs> yeah, bro, I'm like shit. My scalp all dry and shit. Her hair clean when she's looking. He be doing them clean haircuts though. Please. Why is there? We just wait for them to get done real quick. Let me out. No! 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 Come back! They're just a casual set! It's just a casual set! We're about to run it. It's just a casual real quick. It's just a casual real quick. Ask Devante. That, I think that might be a Devante question. I was just letting them do their and finish up their fight really quick. While we're waiting on Joe, everyone's casual set. I usually run on here on stream. I'm just gonna let them play casual this. We got a small bracket, so. Okay. Might as well get the cord There we go. Y'all wanna keep playing, y'all more welcome to right over there. Oh. I think I'll just chill out until my. I'm alright with that. I, I could chill. Yeah. Bro, you tell us. Can we have my monster right here, bro? Thank you. There you go, Justin. You can commentate our set. I could. You can. I go back and like skim through some of the videos. I'd be laughing my ass off some of the shit y'all be saying. Alright. We're moving into um, Fakukuro Neko versus uh, Lackey. Like Lakitu, I believe. Uh, and we're looking at Nagoriyuki versus Kai. This is a matchup that I haven't seen a lot of, but I imagine um, it can kind of be difficult for both ends, just because of specific tools that each character has. Yeah, go back to character select. Um, I know Kai's fireballs can be difficult for slower characters like Nagoriyuki, Potemkin, Faust. Um, but of course, Nagoriyuki has plenty of options for getting in. Um, <laughs> some of those costing blood gauge, as we know. Alright, bro. Alright, and we go to the set proper. No! Yes, okay, now I just have to survive this whole stuff. That is bullshit blazing. No! <laughs> and the round start stun dipper. You always gotta be on your toes for those. Watch out for the low. Ooh, and the command dash into the grab. Gold burst to escape though. Wow, the momentum is swinging wildly back and forth. Pushing each other back and forth from corner to corner. Excellent use of the command dash so far from Fakukuro Neko. And great offense into the 6-H. Command grab gonna whiff though. And uh, Lackey with the wake up grab into the dragon install. The champion in our hearts. Not going to be able to make any sort of use out of it, unfortunately. Although it does look really sick. 
Spinner into some offense. Nice, the command grab after the Fukio. He's making liberal use of that. Oh, and the 5H to counter hit his Stun Dipper. You would think that that would low profile it, but take that all the way to the bank. Just stifling Lackey right now. The Jump H gonna whiff. No whiff punish though, no anti air rather. Spinner, burst just barely gonna hit. That was like the, the very tip. And then high jump over the charge stun edge into the throw. Wake up super though, that definitely looks like it's gonna connect and that'll be the first game going to Fakukuro Neko. Arguably the sickest looking super in the game. Quick game one. Just get get the ball rolling. Jump H, yeah. Fukio into command grab. Finding a lot of use out of that. Although the gold burst, we're looking at a familiar situation here. Wow, the raw ride the lightning. Oh, oh, <laughs> kind of crazy that it traded with the the hit of uh, heavy slash there and the dust. Nice dust combo. Going to hang on to the burst. Diary clot. 6-H to tag on a little more damage, and Lackey in the corner, this is kind of scary. Another 6-H, no command grab that time. Hope a Roman cancel, keep it safe. Looks like he's probably dead, yeah, even even close slash. That's definitely gonna kill, splat it against the wall like that. Ooh, footsies gameplay. 5-H gonna push him all the way back into the corner. Lackey's slowly trying to push his way back into a more advantageous position. The DP probably wanted a fireball. Ooh, yeah, now he's mixing up the Fukios into the lows, as well as the command grab. 2H looking for a corner escape. So much damage being tagged on right now. Oh, and that could have been death. It was a fat counter hit, but then the S-target combo into super? Is that going to be fast enough? It certainly is. That's going to be game two to Baku Kuroneko. Did it. Oh, we're doing three out of five. Nah, yeah, yeah, there's only six people, so I told three out of five. Yeah. Might make that the regular uh, format of this game. Round still so sometimes in this game. Yeah. Alright, and into the game number three. We're still seeing um, more of a slower-paced approach from Lackey right now with the Kai. Nice use of Stun Dipper to escape. Yeah, just sort of trying to push him out. Not really a whole lot of aggression. Nice burst, and then air dash is out. No confirm off the far slash. Oh, the counter hit spinner. You know that's going to be a fat juggle into the target combo. And then Shizuriki, although the blood gauge is active. Oh my god, the fat 5H into super. <laughs> oh my god. Scary blood rage normals from Nagoriyuki. <laughs> yeah, the health loss doesn't matter if you close it out right away. Ryuki, command dash forward. This is looking so scary right now. No punish on the stun dipper though. Oh, and the 5H. The damage is absolutely ludicrous, and the punish on the burst. A 3 0 for Fakukuro Neko. Yeah, I got you. When we're all done, I'll definitely play some session. Just come and ask once we're all done, man. Alright, let me get out of um, I'm about to run the winners and then uh, the live the winners finals really quick. And then I'm gonna start losers. I'm just run losers all on uh, the same system. So if you wanna play casually anyone while you're waiting for your Smash match you can't Yeah, I think Are we back to waiting? Huh? Are we back to waiting? Uh no. Oh. Back about don't even play Smash. Oh cool. Thank God. Oh wait, I didn't even. Okay, perfect. <laughs> I, I did that right, right? I'm blind. Even with glasses, I can't see shit still. <laughs> you did it. All right, Doctor Bob. All right. A match that we've seen tournament after tournament. Fakukura Neko versus Doctor Bob in winners finals. Last tournament we saw this matchup in winners finals as well as grand finals. Uh, Fakukuro Neko was the one who took it in winners, um, and then Dr. Bob came back to reset the bracket with his Anji and take the tournament. I guess we'll have to wait and see if he's playing Faust or Anji. Both characters are kind of uh, 
kind of funny in this game. They've got they've got some weird tools and uh, a lot of interesting mix available to them. Faust is the pick. We're listening to the Disaster of Passion. Not my first pick, but you know what? Just let it rock. I'm not letting it rock. Good. <laughs> Gotta put on the jams. That's one of my favorite songs in the game. Not a whole lot. Just commentated uh, Faku Kuroneko versus Lackey. Um, or Lackey, perhaps. Uh, How did that go? It was a quick 3 0 for, uh, for Faku Kuroneko. Spencer cleaned up. And now we're in winner's finals. A matchup that we've seen tournament after tournament. This is. Uh, the counter hit off the 6 H. Oh my god. Nice dash up throw. Oh yeah. I love the way Dak plays offense and defense at the same time. Yeah, he's really excellent at challenging during uh, defensive sequences, uh, and also he's on point with his anti airs. But then once he gets his offense started with the items, that can be really terrifying. <laughs> that item pressure is something else. Mm -hmm. and it just, when you're against them, it always seems to go in Faust's favor. Mm -hmm. and when you're playing Faust, you never get the item. Yeah, Except yeah. Dr. Bob, who gives some, some good items. Yeah, yeah. Dr. Bob pushing to the corner now, though. 5H, the Blood Rage, that's really unfortunate. And then the Command Grab, that is the matchup knowledge coming into play. Good burst to get out, though. We'll see if he can uh, maintain the offense. Yeah, you be rocking the Tims and the Afro. Oh, yeah. For real New York Yuki right here. <laughs> oh, so many items. Get the bomb over. Yeah, going to have to block that. Dr. Bob still has burst available to him. YRC is to get out, and then the quick low from the 2P. Just poke him real quick. Tense situation because that's the same amount of life right there. Mm. Looks like uh, before you can. Blood gauge is low. It's party time now for Nagoriyuki. Oh, just playing it safe. 5k and a sweep, and then the wake up throw. I couldn't see who got the horn at first there. <laughs> It's usually a safe bet just to hold your block. Up, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, the spinner gonna be with punished, and now he's getting. Oh my god! <laughs> Take all these bombs. It's a, such a sign of respect that uh, Spencer is, is just letting uh, Dr. Bob play. Keep him up. He's not going. He's not going for the offense. You know that the goal you just got, mm -hmm. and you can't. You can't be afraid to use that. You want to win, you Absolutely. Although the Blood Rage activate and 2P Two take blood that rages game. in a row. Yeah. <laughs> he wants to make use of those specials. They're some of the best in the game. I don't know why everybody doesn't just sacrifice half their life right off the bat. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's the way to approach it. Jump H. Good challenges from Dr. Bob here. Nice command dash. Play it safe. Block, block the goons. He, he, just, he makes it so intimidating to go in against them. And yeah. then when, you, when you're on the defensive and you shouldn't be because you're playing against Faust, he turns it on like that. I, just... I, I feel very similarly. It can be really stressful when he has like all the items going for him. The horn and, and the mini Faust. Is That's that going to catch the back dash? Oh my god. That's going to kill. Wow. All right, first game goes to Spencer. And the real uh, set game count is one to oh, so pay attention to those numbers on the top of the screen. Oh yeah, yeah, pay those no mind. Both contenders are playing it safe right now, although a lot of blood has been spent for Nagoriyuki. But the Fukio into the command grab is going to be depleting it. And with the offense, yeah, completely depleted. Ball splat into the super. This is huge damage and a knockdown. Might even kill, actually. I think we're not quite there. He'll have, like, a pixel. Yeah, he's working with a burst and a dream. And a little meter for YRC. And Faust's not a character you want to be sitting on a pixel of life with. No, definitely not. <laughs> Right, knock down into the item throw. He just take that back. Oh, pushing him into the corner slowly but surely. Good patience. Oh, the 2H, not with punished. 
I see some far slash. He's gonna have to push harder. I don't like the way Spencer's not pressing the corner. He moved him from corner to corner to back off when he, when he had to play the game. Yeah, I, I get what you mean. Another super. He's not even gonna let the minions do work. He said no. <laughs> this one's mine. <laughs> okay. Two to zero. Do you think we're gonna see an Anji come out? Or? I guess not. More props. All right. No hesitation. Maybe we'll see it a little later on. He pulled it out against me earlier. So he doesn't have any reservations about playing Anji today. He came off the floor with me with Anji last week. Yeah, he's, he's been washing me these past few tournaments. <laughs> oh, the dust combo. Fully connect. That is quite a bit of damage. Scary mix-up, although just close slashes out of it into this huge juggle. Although the slash target combo not going to connect. This is the time to try and maintain some momentum. Mm -hmm. Oh, the great first base. Base. Yeah. All they do didn't capitalize from which I don't know if uh, was it ready for it. Okay. I mean the slow paced gameplay has been uh, working fairly well for him so far, although in this match it's rather close. Yeah, you can't argue with the result. Absolutely. Yeah. Has paid off. And he's moving into uh, potentially winner's bracket life for Dr. Bob and Spencer's holding on to burst. Nice anti air with the 2S and juggle into the far slash. Wow, what a strange interaction. Yeah, did those minions just hit Faust? <laughs> I couldn't even tell. The goons just showed up and they're like, I'm choosing violence today. <laughs> a lot of blood gauge though. High jump in and the faultless defense to keep it safe. Mini Faust pushing him all the way away. The greatest crossover game that I really want to see is uh, Mini Faust versus Serbot. I think the world is really missing that. <laughs> I mean, the day I get to see all the Faust goons do like a 999 hit infinite, that'll be the day. Is that... Okay, Blood Gauge isn't quite full. The bomb exploded in his face as he went for the Scarecrow. Kind of a scary situation here. 5H reaches so far when you're at that high in the Blood Gauge. Nice whiff punish on the 2H. 3-0 for Spencer. Good stuff. Uh, we uh, do my thing and I'll get yeah. loser's bracket started real quick. Hope you do. Alright. Oh, go! They said come back on beat my ass and losers anyway. Alright, maybe um, with that attitude. Let, let me see. Let's see who's a oh shit. Don't look at my hair, y'all. Oh, <laughs> I should bust it. <laughs> But Lakitu and Fist of the Heavens. Lakitu and you, yep. That sounds like a children's book. Alright. 
And then, uh... You and Aquila can play over there in that setup. Fuck it. I was gonna have the whole losers thing on here, but it's whatever. Who am I playing? Uh... Gacy. Foam. How do you get it to do that? I want. I want my. Like lean it back there. Like here. And but it's still like. I still have to figure out how to get it to rock back. You need it to lean back. Oh, is it this right? Oh my God! Yeah, yeah. Right. Hey, hey, don't don't look at my afro, guys. I told you, don't don't look at my afro when my hat falls off. That shit busts. All right, so we got our boy. Huh? You too, nigga. Uh, <laughs> yeah, let me let me show you my. Yeah. Sometimes this is like I don't want anyone to see this one because she's like got the chewing cords. So? But the, these are horny hours around here, bro. <laughs> Fuck Makima. <Mocky. laughs> Fuck her, bro. She killed power. Man, no, I got I got all these power ones. Dude, I got a lot of those ones of power too. I got that one. You don't got. You don't got. I don't. Really I don't. She was really saying she just hate me. <laughs> she just hate me. Oh my god. I need, get, I need to get more. I'm missing some. So oh my my god. I do got some. Uh, <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah, bro. Go over and watch that show. Dora um, Hedora. Yeah, Dora Hedora. Yes, I loved that show, dude. I loved it. I bought a whole sticker pack of them. Hell yeah, I just finished Jujutsu Kaisen also. Yeah. I liked it. I really liked it. It's pretty good. I don't want to wait for season two. I might start reading the manga. Boy, lazy. All right. Fist of the Heavens on player one and lock it two on player two. We're not even going to bother putting names up. We're lazy out here today. Yeah. We're lazy. Whoa, whoa, there's a pause? Uh, oh, oh. It's okay, I told him we could do it. Alright, just press all the buttons at once. Y'all just gonna hop back into it, you're gonna character select. Alright, y'all good? Alright. Good. All right. They don't even care, they said we're just going right into it. This is the heaven, hard knockdown, projectile, 50 50, burst! Lakitu out here playing May, what's up with that? He's about to, yeah! Some more. I want to see more of them Totsugekis. Hey! We got Don. Oh my god. He missed it. Yeah! Give me another. Give me another. Oh damn. He countered that shit. Oh! Big counters. Fist of the heavens out here. Charge! Yeah. 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 Alright, alright. Lakitu down. Uh, Fist of the heaven up. This is the heaven looking strong right now with the Zino. Ooh, he blocked the Totsugeki point yeah, blank. I, 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 had to pay I don't give like, off. I'm blocking them dolphins. Like, low, low, okay. Smashing. Good counter. Stagger. 50 50s. Ooh. That was big. <laughs> oh! Dude, he just 6 p with the face out of that. Oh my god. All right, good 50 50 in the grab. All right. My man's fist of the heaven been leveling up, but so has Lakitu also. My boy's out here looking good. Damn! Alright, fist of the heaven, one. One on the board. I'm not even gonna bother with names right now. I'm lazy, my neck hurts. Where's Cliff at? He still owes me gas money, too. Good stagger. He's burst right away. Another stagger. 50 50 gate. 50 50. More 50 50s. Uh, 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 uh. Oh my god. This is the heavens out here. Totsugeki. Don't count May out yet. All she has to do is Totsugeki 30 times and she's won. Oh, chip damage. All right. 
This is the heavens looking really strong right now in this matchup. Really strong, and I'm loving it. Grab. Stay down. Like that little short hop he did right there. That was scary. Fifty fifties. Stagger. He's going overhead. Oh, gold burst. Oh, which one's gonna hit? The big beluga whale. Still on another whale. I don't care. Take these whales. Totskeki. Totskeki. Oh. Fist of the heavens. Two to zero. My man said he's been in the lab. Don't count Laka two out yet, though. Oh! Dust! And he missed the dust chance. Bam. Totsgeki. Counter. Staggers. Nope. Burst. You burst out of the situation. I agree with that. Big. Who won, Roland? What was the score? I won 3-0. Yeah, uh, Gazy won 3-0? No, 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 no. All right, you play the winner of this set right here, all right? I do believe it's looking like it's going to be uh, Matt. Knockdowns. He had options. So it's Gekki. All right. Whales, we got whales. Staggers. Ooh, that was really nice. That was really nice. Projectile pressure. Oh, good grab. Luck two got a gold burst on. Oh my God, two killer whales in a row. I agree. Laka 2 gets an automatic win for the, the two killer whales. I don't care. You get an automatic win. It's an auto dub, bro. GG's, guys. Fist of the heavens. Stay right there. 3 0. Uh, Quilla and uh, Fist of the heavens playing. Quilla? These boys about to be drenched in sweat. Yeah, it's kind of hot outside today. Oh my god, it's so Dude, I walked outside and I just I, w I woke up this morning, bro. It's just a puddle, man. It's a puddle. I did it. Look, Justin sitting there, just like I fucking hate this game. I never want to play this game. Why? It's even cooler now. <laughs> this game has got you can combo after that. Bro, you're not allowed to play cell no more, nigga. Let it be known, Devontae is not allowed to play no uh no cell anymore. Cliff over there playing MKX and shit. I don't know if the stream has noticed my insane ability to randomly select red items, but Pick a different color. No, I, I go red when I get red. You always just get red. All right, both players dap it up, and they are heading into this. Winner of this set plays Doctor Bob. I can a little bit, but I'm still got excited. All right, let's see how we get into this. Aquila on the right playing Ram. This is the Heavens on the left playing Ino. 
All right, Aquila but out already with over a little over half health. What is that, like 55? 60 almost? Damn. All right. This is the heavens, though, with the 50-50s today. All right, good grab. Good run up and grab. Ooh. That was very deadly. I know with the corner pressure right now. Gold burst. Good. He caught the dust. That was a that was that was kind of a smart super. Good grab. Good grab off of float. That was good. Nice 50-50s. Alright, You guys, his favorite commentator will be right back. He's a restroom break.
Fighting stuff. Yeah. Watch the rest of it. Are we watching the stream? Or not? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, uh, you know, I went outside and looked at some of the Naruto matches. Yeah. And I noticed uh, that uh, safe jump dash, where I did the dash forward light punch and then in the light kick to like I use that that match. So, yeah, good shit, good, dude. I was trying to watch. I was like, damn, it's two two. That nothing. Give you my ass both ten times in a row. And then like pull that off for a little while and it just feels great. It feels good, don't it? Yes, it does. Oh yeah, that's why I play this character. It's fun. Yeah. Uh, three two. Oh, 
What's your, uh, you got a Twitch? I, I do it on Facebook right now. I want to start Twitch, but, like, I started making money on Facebook first, so I was like, fuck it. i just been doing it on there. It's just my, uh, my name I go by here, and then it's just gaming after it. Do you upload, uh, pieces of videos? Um, it, you, um, the whole stream stays up for, like, a month or two. If you, uh, if you would want to, uh, I have, like, some video editing software, and I've been wanting to get into, like, editing. If you want stuff and put it on YouTube. I would say, if you want to, you're more than welcome to. Right. Like if you want to like take some of these, you can just go straight to the Facebook and you rip it straight from there. Because right. um, I did a couple of uh, my own highlights and stuff straight from the Facebook, and I uh, I was like, oh shit, you know, and I messed around with them for a little bit, you know. So you can do that if you want. Um, it's all up to you. So yeah, you I'm gonna start doing that. And then if we get like, uh, I'll give you if I end up making any money off of it, then uh, we can just split it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I bet I know something like that will really help the uh, the Michigan scene too. You know, so. Yeah, especially if like new people come out and like the people search for them. Yeah, I know. Then they're gonna see us all beating them and then be like, oh shit, who are these guys? <laughs> Maybe you and Dr. Bob. I'm not sure I'm quite there yet. Yeah, hey, we'll get there. I got it. Oh damn! I gotta figure this out. I need to get more focused with my practice. I need to get matchup specific. Yeah. I just I just be sitting there just playing matches, man. That's all I really do. Me too. Like, I've been having a hard time, like, staying in Celestial because, like, then somebody busts out, like, Anji, but I don't get to play a lot. And then they'll knock me out of Celestial, and then I go to, like, Floor 10, and then, like, I keep fighting, like, somebody else who uses Anji, and I'll look around for, like, an Anji or, like, a Faust and stuff, and um, I know and stuff. I, I almost made it. I made it to floor 10. I had some wins going. I ran into a, a, a soul. And we had like close ones, but you eked him out every time. I made it to Celestial. I thought about running from him. I thought about running from him. I played I wanted Celestial. I was like, no, I don't want Celestial. Yeah. I don't want to play who I play if I'm making it. Yeah. I must be getting there, and I'm just like, oh, well, great. I got to play here now. I hope he plays this game. He's a, he's oh, yeah, he's he really good. good. He wants to play a game, he's good at it. Oh, my God, the counter, bro. Give me the feet. I don't want shit to do with Anji. Quilla with the with the character change to um, what's the name? Geo, baby mama Geo. I think that's a mistake. I think if he sticks it out and uh, learns uh, not the character matchup, but like you know, tries to get a little bit into Doctor Bob's habits and everything, he'd have a lot more success. With yeah, him. his Ram is way better than his Geo. Is what I'm trying to say. Definitely. I can see why he did change for the matchup though, but I I think he should have stayed with Ram. Is Ram a is Geo a better matchup versus Anji than I Ram? don't know. I do not know. 2 0. 2 0. And uh, you're going to see a character select? Alright. <laughs> his Ram has improved about tenfold from last week. I know, a shit ton. He definitely did some lab. I was watching him. I was like, oh my god. I'll drop my pulp. I was watching, I was like, oh my god, bro, I don't want to play him. I don't want to play him either. Mm. We should get some lobbies going here pretty soon. Maybe. Yeah, I know, I was thinking about doing them like Saturday nights, because I have Saturdays off. So I was thinking about um, doing Saturday nights, something like that, if everyone else is okay with that. We'll see, because I'd be posting every once in a while. Before I moved and stuff, I was posting, like, hey, anyone want to play? And then the one night I was about to play, my uh, my internet just shit on itself. I was like, oh, my yeah. God. They just died. I was so mad. Way better. It's just that Anji matchup's hard. Not a lot of people play Anji. Especially with that Sonic Hurricane. Man. I know. Quilla can still make a big comeback. He's just got to read them 50-50s. Yeah. Yeah, Ram can do it. Ram can bully you up. Yeah. 
Just like oh. that. Oh my god. I missed a confirm. That was a big confirm. I do that all the time. Sometimes you just don't believe Woo! It. That was good staggers and the grab. I know he's got one from this because he hit me. Ooh! Staircase bit. combos. Through the glass. Oh, man. Woo. All right, Aquila, let's go. They're playing nice right now. I'm waiting for them to start playing dirty. They're playing fair. Yeah. I'm surprised. Anji don't like taking turns. Yeah, for... Ooh, that was a good confirm. That was great. Uh -oh. starting to feel himself. He's got to keep this momentum up. He keeps it up, man. I think he can bring it back. Look at He's that. Got, oh, Dr. there you Dr. go. Bob is definitely on the ropes. Burst. Oh man, the stagger into the grab was smart. Oh, Dr. Bob read the cross up. Yeah, just like that. Butterfly. Just change. Let's hope Aquila can make the adjustment. Out of the corner with the blue Roman. That was a really good option. Backdash, trying to stay away. The more I see of Aquila, the more I respect his brain. He's a pretty smart player. Really good. Saw the whiff grab, went for the low. All right. Oh, no. Dr. Bob read that already. Don't do that again. All right. It's next option. Oh, my God. Saw right through it. That's cheating, bro. That, that was cheating, dog. That was a good game, guys. What else right. I could have done right there? There's a PRC in my face. What do I do? What do I do? Was that 3 0? Uh, All right. Let me get up. All right, ladies and gents, we're here at the familiar grand final. Dr. Bob versus uh, Baku Kuro Neko. I'm just going to call him Neko. Yeah. All right. So, Neko versus uh, Dr. Bob. I believe last time we were here, um, last time. Uh, Dylan, you uh, came back from losers to win it last week, right? Uh, so we'll see if history will repeat itself or if uh, Dr. Bob set up to get some revenge. Uh, the other way around. Nagu set up to get some revenge. Let's see. Both these guys are very, very patient, very well versed in the matchup. Um, if I have to go out on a limb, I'd say Dr. Bob is probably a little more well-versed because uh, I got some insider knowledge that uh, Neko was, was looking for uh, Anji matchups in ranked mode recently. So we're going to see if uh, Neko can change Dr. Bob's mind. See if he can bring that Faust out that he beat earlier. It's uh, New York's finest versus Japan's finest right now. Pretty boy Anji versus the vampire monster Nagori Yuki. Right. We have to do some button checks. I don't remember the Frank and Nagori Yuki. These are not the same. All right. Well, I won't talk any smack because my match had the exact same issue. Sometimes you get ready to go in and forget about the button check. It's not Evo, folks. It's all good. All right. Let's get this going again. One more try. One more try. Thank you. 
Alright, Angie advances again just like last time. Nagoriuki keeps him out. See Nagoriuki's got some got the buttons to keep most people out, but with Angie's uh fan spin counter he's got he can find some tricky ways to get in. So far uh Nico's uh making short work of Angie gimmicks and just keeping with the slow, steady, patient offense that we're used to seeing from him. Angie with a couple of double throws. Never go for the third throw, man. Never go for the break on the third. Butterfly PRC. YRC. I'm just seeing exploding circles everywhere I look. Good anti-air confirm. Is he going to get a wall break? He's going to get the kill. All right, it's Anji's abs versus uh, Giant Blade. Anji coming in, clean jump in, confirmed into a throw, I guess. But either way, he's got a corner pressure. Gorio, he's trying to push his way out. I like how instead of uh, trying to switch sides with uh, Nagoriyuki, uh, Neko's just trying to push his way out. He's going to have a lot more success doing that than trying to like jump out or use uh, Nagoriyuki's limited movement options to change positions. He's really just got to either play solid or find an opening to go through some of that uh, <laughs> big Nagoriyuki damage. None of that's going on. He's just able to keep him on his back foot. So far, Nanko's unable to have an answer for Dr. Bob Zanji. That's 1-0. All right, this one starts out a little different. We got some offense. Let's see if he can maintain it. Nanko's using those big buttons. I want, I want to see him do uh, some of those big chunk damage combos that he hit on me. He's going to start, he's got a negative meter. Blood gauge kind of full. Going to have to empty it. If he's not careful, he's going to end up bursting. Anji uses that opportunity to go on offense because he knows Nagoriyuki's options are limited when he can't blood burst, or when he's close to blood bursting. All right, Anji walks back. He's now got corner positioning. I like how Anji just did the Nagoriyuki pose there for a minute. It was like a low-key tone. All right, Nagoriyuki looks like he's going to use the burst this late in the round. I'm not sure if I agree with that, but he doesn't have a lot of uh, a lot of other options at the moment unless he wants to just eat it. Yeah, but he's going to anyway. All right, so we're one round away from a uh, two to one lead to reset uh, the brackets. Uh, Dr. Bob needs to reset to come back to win. Uh, the tournament um, and then so far it's looking like he's got the momentum to do so this one might be a repeat of what we had last week with uh, Nego losing out to Dr. Bob in the grand finals good counter hit good confirm is he good I think he's gonna get the wall from here he's gonna use meter he doesn't well because he doesn't have it there's no meter there I was looking at uh Yuki's meter all right this is still anybody's round obviously but uh Neko's got to got to figure out how to get his offense going if he wants to answer this Anji, and that's going to get him this round, making his presence known. He's saying, "I'm not going to be a pushover," and which he he never really is. So that's what I like to see. Let me see if uh, you know, Anji mounting an offense of his own. Both of these players uh, can be very patient. I think that's why you're seeing uh, what looks like hesitancy is as, uh, as really just two players that know each other very well. Not the, necessarily the character matchup, but the player matchup. Uh, Dr. Bob and Nico have been playing each other for a long time. All right, see what's set up off the butterfly wins in the round. Nope, YRC to get him off. Take his turn. 
Let's see if Dr. Bob and Goryuki can take advantage of that. That should be it. Nope. Not there. All right. All right. That's uh, two and zero. Oh. <laughs> Uh, one more win for Dr. Bob resets the bracket. And uh, keep in mind, Dr. Dr. Bob also has the Faust if uh, Neko ends up getting the Angie's number after all. So he's got options. All right. Already, or Neko's using his burst. He won't have that. What's this? The YRC loses the turn immediately. Oh, man. Let's go. That's a great confirm. He's going to get his positive meter bonus. Goes with the air dash instead of the butterfly setup. Haven't seen that much from him. Right into taking the round. All right, bracket reset point right here for Dr. Bob. This is where Nico's got to make a stand. And there we go. Good patience to deal with the butterfly. What's he got next? Answering the records. I, I think a lot of people think uh, you always have to go with the safe option, you know, and just always keep in your mind what, you know, the best move is for each scenario. But, uh... Sometimes you just gotta press a button. Sometimes you gotta have that unpredictability factor. At least that's what I tell myself every time I wake up super in online ranks. Speaking of supers, Nico's gonna land one clean, get the wall break, positive meter, and advantage on the neutral. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Make him guess. All right, this is exactly what Neko has to do if he wants to uh, keep these brackets from resetting. I'm sure he would rather just uh, reverse OCV this. Oh, good PRC to get out of the spin. Here comes Angie on the offensive. We've seen this combo. Oh, I think he dropped it. Can't be dropping those. You got to seal the deal. You got a whole another uh, round to win if you reset the break. Good gold burst. See what Angie's going to do with all this meta. He's going to do with all this fire. All this fire up on my screen. I'm going to do a PRC. I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> All right. So that's a bracket reset. Uh, we are now... Uh, both players are now in loser's bracket in the grand finals. Uh, Dr. Bob is free to change characters now because it's a new set. Okay, we got... Uh, did you did you pick a Pots Pots song? Yeah. All right, it's time for some society boys, serious business. I've been waiting my whole life for this. We live in a society where one metal obsessed man can make some of the coolest looking characters into one of the coolest playing fighting games. And that was Xrd and now we're at I'm just playing. I love this game. I'm too dumb for Xrd. Alright. Angie's having a lot of success with that uh, those dashing fans. I don't know uh, if 6P answers that, but we haven't really seen uh, Neko use it if it does. He hasn't been on... Ooh! This is looking good. Oh, and the Blood Rage takes the wall break away from him. Oh, Lord, I think this is going to be enough. How oh, unfortunate. That's got to take some... So it's got to take the wind out of here. Nickel's going to need to be mentally strong to come back from that. 
It always sucks when uh, you're getting some momentum and the rug gets pulled out from under you. Oh, whip throw. Uh, wasn't able to get a counter off of it. PRC into the high. Butterfly setups. Dr. Bob is uh, doing a good job of getting these hits. He's not always getting a lot of damage off. I don't know if that's a function of Angie or if it's a function of uh, Dr. Bob. But uh, Neko's let a lot of stuff to be hit a, a lot of times. All right, but he's got the corner. He's uh, Nagoriyuki is always one hit away from uh, taking the round. Anytime your character is under half life. All right, we got a little standoff. Oh, beautiful counter. Let's see if this will carry. And he's going to take the round. In round one, one to one. Both characters content to stand full screen from each other. This has got to be the slowest paced game of Guilty Gear's Drive I've ever watched. The respect is what it is. It's a mutual respect for each other. They both know that uh, given the opportunity, one can blow the other. Just, both players are uh, the best two we have in my team. Here, you know? Absolutely hands down. Neko and Dr. Ron. Neko's uh, doing really good playing a very defensive Nagori Yuki. He's keeping Angie out. He's not, he seems to have figured out uh, an answer. Oh, that's a reset. It's a uh, right now? Yeah. It's a 1 0 uh, Neko. Gotcha. Alright. Neko has appeared to. Uh, Find at least an answer for Angie. We'll see if uh, Dr. Bob is able to adapt to the adaptation. Evolution in real time, ladies and gentlemen. All zero viewers on the stream. <laughs> we edit that part out of a YouTube video. Uh, oh, the rare drop combo from Dr. Bob. Red Roman cancel. Oh. All right. This is just consistent offense wins the day. Looks like Dr. Bob is making the correct adjustments here. Sonic Hurricane! Oh, that is fucking hype. I love that. Whoever the BRC mid super try and make the combo kill. It didn't work, but it looked really cool. But it looked like it might come back around and uh, bite Dr. Rob in the booty. Dr. Bob, I'm sorry. It's anybody's round right now. Oh my god. Dr. Bob ties up the set one to one. This is the best three out of five grand finals. Uh, brackets have been reset. Winner of this set uh, wins, the, wins the tournament. Nagoriyuki's yeah. got good positioning right now. Angie gets the throw, set up for the butterfly to set up for the mix up. And Dr. Bob has uh, managed to push Nako from one end of the screen to the other to retake corner control. 
PRCs all over the place. And the worker says, no, you don't deserve to mix me. Get that butterfly out of my face. Let me use some meter. All right, that blood meter is going down. No confirm. All right, so that's a big deal that uh, Dr. Bob used his burst. Because if he still loses this round, he goes into the next round at a much bigger disadvantage than he would have if he still had his burst. Uh, you know, burst management is a big part of this game. And sometimes you even are willing to give up a round to save your burst. Not often, but you know, bursting is never a guarantee of uh, winning the round. So it's always a game. Oh, big counter hit. The decent damage. So far, Dr. Bob has had no answer for uh, Neko this round. Oh, YRC again. He doesn't want to deal with that butterfly pressure. He just says, get off me. Let me use some meter to get my turn back. Okay. Uh, we are now 2-0. Uh, 2-0 or 2-1? 2-1. I know guys, I have one job. I'm doing my best. Alright, I've never commentated by myself before. I've only commentated with other people like a total of one hour, so please be patient with me. Alright. So it looks like uh Neko has found the answer he's looking for here, alright? He's uh He's, he's adjusting well. This is uh, a lot, looking a lot better for him than uh, the original reset was. All right, let's see if uh, Dr. Bob can make this one kill this time. No, he's not gonna, doesn't have the meter to do the PRC. He just got it with the positive bonus. Oh, beautiful PRC bait. Gets a little overzealous, but he does force the burst. That's not a total loss. There is a victory there. Dr. Bob, of course, taking the round and getting the more important victory and starting his next one off with uh, Anzi Pressure. Oh, there we go. It's an anti-air answer to that dash in uh, it looks like HS if I had to hazard a guess. Oh! PSC mix-up after the records. That was clever. I like that. Old players backing up. Oh! All right, he's not letting them dash in for free anymore. That's one, an adjustment Doc, uh, Neko has had to make, and he's made it. Let's see how Dr. Bob adjusts. Oh, baits the burst with the butterfly, moves in for the Lansing reset, and uh, makes the set 2-2. Last one, everybody. Both players are tournament uh Tournament game. God, I'm not sure if Dr. Bob or uh, if uh, Neko was trying to bait something out with those teleports or if it was a misinput or, or what. He really filled up his blood gauge, but he's uh, commanding a life lead. A good jump in because it worked. Dr. Bob unable to capitalize off the whiff punish, but manages to force a hit in there anyway. There's some good damage, corner pressure, and a mix-up. He's got the wall. Positive meter bonus. He's going in. He's not taking any time for this one. He said, I'm ready to take this home. Here comes the pressure. I'm done being patient. I'm being, I'm applying pressure now. That was had to be the most, uh, steady and consistent offense I've ever seen out of Angie. It was just a never-ending stream. This character really can look beautiful on the right hand. Butterfly pleasure. Dr. Bob's already pulled the burst out of Nago. Of course! And that's the first time we've seen that uh that right there, which is the super in between the 
was a hard match up. In the box. Patient, and I got way so too Congratulations to uh, Dr. Bob for his uh, great Angie play and uh, also to uh, Nico for uh, getting that runner up spot. It's great Angie, great Nago. Yeah, we've seen some Ram, we've seen some Eno, uh, we've seen some Kai. I hope if, uh, I'm not forgetting anybody, but we got good character representation uh, representation in this town. So if you all are in the surrounding area, uh, Lansing or Holt or you know if you want to come from out of town, Battle Creek, Grand Rapids, Detroit, we got good setups here. We got good players. Uh, come on out. Come on down to uh, Fiber Gaming and PC Repair on uh, Saginaw. In, uh, just across from Coles in West Lance. Come on down here and uh, patronize uh, this venue and uh, help grow the scene, man. Let's make uh, let's make Michigan let's make Michigan better. And that's all for me. This fist of the heavens. Leaving the stream unattended for dead air. Bye. Yo, air. How do you feel about doing your combos like this? I've been but at the same time, it's not. I know, I know, but I'm killing it. I have one day of work today, so I'm going to do it. It does more damage if you use more damage. more damage if you use more And then you might be asking, well, how do I press the button to complete the input? You're using the same for the stick. Yeah, exactly. Elbow, yeah. That's the tag. I mean, that's one way. However, I don't want to play it because I just have so many other things. The woodpecker technique? Yeah. Maybe you have like your stick. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Alright, but I did record it though. I was making sure because I was like, God, I was like, Yeah, I can see the lab now. Yeah, I can see the about Balrog versus Birdie. I'm pretty sure that's Balrog's favorite. I'm talking early season Balrog too. So two touch off Visa. I'll be Back when no one knew how he played. Like I mean, this, I'm, I'm talking about 
Because I'm basically talking about just because you play a bad matchup, you still have the tools to win the matchup. You can do it. I just got to practice the timing. It's but the timing is just where do like you on excel in the matchup. Yeah. You gotta ask yourself that one. But when you're playing, you might be playing. It looks pretty Andrew. immediate. You play Anji, right? No, it I'm looks struggling. It's hard to really play around. I was gonna say. It's just so like, like what do you right here. Also, when you're looking at this, where's the meal going at? Okay. Um, I'm I to, like, should find blocking most of the mix that I have. Yeah, where he bounces off. The first question you should ask yourself is how can I keep this character up? And then you're using the macro to, uh... Oh, no, I'm, uh, I'm inputting it myself. Oh, okay. It's probably muscle memory. I don't know if you have a lot That's how I feel about, like, easy, uh, regions. So, I'm thinking about, like, this. I'm staggering, I'm pressing one. I'm thinking about I can already do it. Changes black. Like, Why did you black? Don't worry about that. Changes black. Show me the basis of the matchup. See, and I'm trying to so, figure out like, cause there's like, yeah, they changed the meter. Shit, the first layer, the yeah. Yeah. This so is like, much like the first the, uh, when you gain yeah. meter, sometimes it's slowly going down. Any action works. Like, when you're like in a combo. That's good. This is good to let you acknowledge it. But that's also good at the same time you're playing those online people. So you can practice. Things at a lower level, right? And you watch it with Oh, yeah, this is a reversal. You know, Fundo? Uh, I know. Sometimes Fundo, he's a newer. You know, everything else I've heard doesn't, doesn't really matter. He's one of the best Carmine players in the game. He barely he needs to get near him. Carmine is the blood guy. He's still. Wait, they didn't, they didn't touch you? I, well, he's already playing a different game. Goddamn. And then Fundo was nice. Fendo like was, Fendo got copied at Cumberland. Did you Supernatural Orb on... Oh, okay. Like, so that's what I'm saying, why? Yeah, so you can start to do that. But you still keep going down now. I just want to use the matchup, but I have tools to win the matchup. Right. That's how you, that's when you start laughing. What are my tools and how do I use them? Yeah, like... Five dollars an hour. Ha ha ha. little man. All right, all right, I'll keep it in mind. I might not be the best player, but god damn it, I'm not a coach. I feel the same way about most of them. I might be the Mike Ross. Mike, Mike Ross, Ross. Miguel. Miguel Lucington. Cage Crusher? Mike on Cage, Cage Ross. Nick Lickers. Cheddar Geek. Those were the days. Papa Trumps? Papa, no! Waxel himself? Wow. Wait, no one expected Mike to play 17th at Evo for the 50 year XR. <laughs> he just came out of nowhere. This was after his hiatus, wasn't yeah. it? He was just gone. Left in one Evo? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, that's wild. I forgot about the one Evo. I'm talking about, uh, you remember when Mike Ross vanished from society? Then he entered the Guilty Gear XR that you got when you played 17? More than that. Oh, yeah, yeah, we were watching, uh, um, what you call it? Yeah, Goku, we were watching Downstairs. I didn't see this overhead that Goku Black had. Yo, what the fuck? Uh, uh, <laughs> are we playing PB Tags? Yeah. Oh god! They just they just gave us fucking B Reaper tag out in this game. <laughs> I don't know how to feel. Like, good evening. Honestly. Got La Mesca. Yamcha, Yamcha top two again? 
I'd love to see that. I used to play Krillin, Yamcha, TN. I used to play Goku Black, Black, Pit, and Resistance. That was, well, at least 16 was. And then I got Goku Black for Super Bowl. His leg is back. What the fuck? I had to go. My boys in my Discord have been like posting stuff here and there, and I'm like, this shit doesn't even look real. <laughs> this looks like mods. Bro, adult go Yes. I heard about this. Whoa, 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 whoa. And he gets sliding off there, shouldn't he? VR. Oh, my God. That was my other This is the. Oh, he doesn't have to. You're like, we don't want to hear shit from no. Hook. We don't want to hear shit from Hook. No mo. No. Uh, this is our, our guy team right now. No time to be cool. I don't know how. Schmicks, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the change. That's not the change I want to see, but it looks pretty welcome. You know, this game has a lot of changes. I don't want to see. Hey, has a proper hit here now. Good. He's going to have to do a proper two inch. Some people really like this. Cool. Did they change? Oh, so so it's two inch better. Yeah. yeah Make no. it faster or something? They gave it more. Speaking of 2 H and Harley, I want to see how it is 2 H and. Okay, good. That's exactly what I was about to bring up. Because he really could usually just be able to put up his barrier and see the natural three. Because that 2 H counted that in the deck time. That was a fuck matchup. Dude, this is fucked. I heard Warren and Freezer makes kind of fucking crazy. Also, one of the also one of the arguments is that the starting layout is too similar to F. Well, uh, <laughs> is this the change you wanted to see? I'm not. Even, I hope the freezer players are happy for this. But the starting layout is similar to F. It's tagged out. Agents, it's a mess. He's in. Goofy ass. Oh, quite genius. What? Maybe a barrier will work. Yeah. Should not buy speed. So all air travel has now fucking even combos. Kick the dick and bow. And I was practicing Grab. that shit this morning. <laughs> <laughs> she said, your leg just got buffed, and be grabbing. And hey, she said, hey, I'm a tech I'm a tech mechanic. Check this little pair real quick. This motherfucker, I'm afraid of. What did they do to him? Hey, yo. How minus is the low that Anji does off Fujin? Um, like, I think you might be able to jab it if I'm too close. Okay, okay. But like, if you do a full block string like this, no, nothing. Okay, you might be able to get um more Tabato, maybe. Okay. I don't know. I don't know how fast that starts up. You could try that. He's got FP. 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 He's got F
Yes. Bring me back. Make me pick him back up. Why was that so armored? Why is that armored? In the first place. I missed the chapter. Why is that armored? They finally went all the way. They've been slowly buffing it. Oh my god! They gave a double go hard for me. You might actually get to use the first one. Going way. It's fucking more. No, nah, that opened me up. Hey, Nagori Yuki. Hey, hey, uh, <laughs> this is fucking, this is fucking new. Go Gohan, base go and go cheat at You already know. I need to see, I need to see some both of that boys on my team. <laughs> Yeah, sure. I'm happy about this. I just recorded. Okay, okay. Yeah, I got in the same thing. I got five slots. We got, um... We got to go... Did you charge? Did they buff him? Yeah. You got buff. Auto buff. How shows that you're getting with the CSS? I hate getting hit by that. It feels so like I should have reacted to that. Yeah, you just bring like young head. Then, um, yeah. Oh, and then you dash our team. Not always. Oh, I think. No, it's alright. It's alright. Let's play. So is this raw like you play? Move on to some casuals. I guess we mean you're just yelling at this shit. Okay, sounds good. Oh man. I dare enter the main hall. <laughs> it is I. And I, I really suck at using the practice mode too. I really need to get better at doing that. Mm -hmm. I mean, like some some stuff is easier to lab. Like I can set Giovanna or Anji to like run a bunch of mix-ups on me and practice blocking all that. But like neutral stuff and like interactions are just like. I just have to play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that's what I'm like really trying to work on is like neutral in this game, mm -hmm. especially because like if I'm super like close to blood rage, I'm like shit. Now I gotta play heavy, heavy footsies. You right. Know? Super heavy footsies. And, I don't know, I'm I'm really trying with this game because I like Guilty Gear. You know, I really yeah. liked it. I never really got into it, so I was like, I'm gonna take strides seriously and play the hell out of it. Mm. Maybe one day go to NLBC and get my ass whipped. <laughs> That'd be so sick. I've been thinking about it. If like uh, if I get like a bunch of people who want to go, I'll definitely go up there. That'd be awesome. Maybe get a new car before I do that. <laughs> but that'd be helpful. Yeah, my car's kind of a piece of shit. These are the first like actual fighting game tournaments I've been to. Because really? I, I used to go to like a ton of Smash tournaments. Yeah. But, like as I've said before, I got really sick of Smash, and like. You know, at MSU, I, I would go to casuals like every week, but like yeah. I just didn't get to go to any actual events. And then COVID hit. It's like I'm, I'm playing training mode in all these fighting games, and I'm yeah. getting on the ranked grind and like Grand Blue, and then this game. And, yeah. And like now I can finally go to some events. Yeah, it's, man. Like, this shit hurt when uh, COVID like did all that shit. I was like, God damn, I just want to play the game. Yeah, for real. Yeah, my controls ain't right. I don't know. No worries. It's my fault. 
Two two again, uh, and the bracket keeps getting smaller. So I got third this time. Do we take those. We do take those. You also take this ass beating. <laughs> Not for long. Oh, only for long. Oh yeah. Spencer is a sadist. Nice. He's fight again. <laughs> what? I'm a what? You're a sadist. Why? Do you like to make people suffer in these games? I do not. I just play. <laughs> Where's where the content? What's up? First of all, I need you to back me up in this one. Does, does Spencer not like to torture people in fighting games? I, I mean, like to play! He, he beats he me for the most part, but I wouldn't say I'm Z suffering. Zamasu? Piccolo? What do you mean? If you pick Zamasu, you're suffering. Yeah, like, I suffered playing him, but I still was doing first good taking all those top threes. Get off of when me. They, uh, Spencer, when they buff your characters and you have... I don't, I don't see one in fighting right now, I'm crazy. Huh? They buffed all your characters. I know. They buffed everybody but Gotenks. I, I know, man. No, Gotenks is still fine. Gotenks is still viable. I don't know, man. I didn't say he wasn't still viable. But he didn't no, get buffed. Is he didn't need any buffs. He was fine. I didn't say there was a problem with it. Because Ghost Oki was fucking cheap. I'm literally I'm, Ghost Oki. These niggas are just going a, on now. A, I'm, I'm wiping my hands of this. I don't want to fucking talk about the yeah. second ball. <laughs> well, I know, you're good. I was talking about, like, Ghost Oki was cheap. Oh, I guess Ghost Oki Like, that shit was mad cheap. When I go into the wall slot there, I've been trying to do um 214k more because yeah. it does more damage. Contact, yeah. What happened to him? Ooh. Oh fuck. The guy that made Ghost Oki. The guy that played. I know, uh, the guy who used he, the, the, he created Ghost Oki. I don't know, Clayton Chapman? No. Nice no. worse. The fighting game player. Oh, I tried to challenge. I don't know. Like, I, I guess multiple hits that came back. Ah! I don't know who started Ghost Oki. I thought he played. You about to leave? Yeah. I'm going home. I'm about to go play online with Dragon Ball. Yeah, that laggy ass shit. Oh well. Oh nice. I thought I was far away enough. Right now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I don't have the meter. There was like 1,000 people uh, streaming fucking Yoki Gear and like 24,000. Yeah, and then that 24,000 is gonna dwindle to like two. Like Not three. Kiel, that's his fucking name. You really had cancer at one point and you beat it. That dude like fell off my history. Like, no one knows where he I'm sorry, did he come out for the crowd? I remember he used to be a fucking guilty dude. Send it. He's probably like, like, I don't blame him. That just saved me. No! That just saved me. I should have done 5k and blocked the burst. Whatever. Nice. What do you mean, what do you mean, so I can teach you? Nice. 
It don't matter to me. I mean, that's perfectly. Well, that's what you're saying. We gotta play your game. I mean, you what? You, I blocked you. Oh, okay. What? So about, remember when Devontae was down himself in Dragon Ball? But we honestly think this man could be top three in Michigan in Dragon Ball. I think it's down to be top three in the world, bro. That's it. I mean, you got drive Devontae. You got a lot of drive. You don't, it doesn't seem like it. Well, I got that drive back because of this new update. I'm just trying to figure out the mechanics. Real shit, I'm going to tell you right now, bro. Oh, wait, I get it. Give me a second. Okay. Once you start giving yourself more credit and your confidence goes up, you actually do start better. The more confident you are in your buttons pressing, like did you see that air special just hit? This man had the most straight face, big big energy I've ever seen in the crack out in this game. That's just a crack out. Maybe I am. Just crack out in this game. Alright, bro. No backdash. Oh, just kidding. You can do that as much as you want. I, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I don't know if he left. I'm gonna find this baby. I'm sorry. Oh, shit. Come here. Uh, it could be. Fuck. Oh. My soul. I knew the battle of the swords. I had first. Yeah. Swords. <laughs> I need a goddamn pocket character in this game. Just play I don't want to. Bro. It's for losers. Oh, well, I guess that's I, I how I have to work on your treatment. Real quick. I don't know. Is it? I don't know. They just—they made. I like Soul Bad Guy and all the other games. Just see. Here's the thing, right? I was talking to my buddies in Grand Rapids, and I'm thinking I might just play Soul and say fuck it, dude. And just you know, do I know it. they said. You know what they said? What? Noctis, Soul is a you character. I'm like, what are you? What is that supposed to fucking mean? Yeah, Ignorant. you're more like you're more like a Zato kind of guy. Me, Zato? Yeah. Then there's me who plays Soul and is bad at the game anyway, and people will still trash talk me because I play Soul. And I'm like, I just like the character, guys. I'll it's never trash talk people for their character choices. It's just Soul. I'll, I'll trash talk you for being a piece of shit. Well, soul like, just, Soul just is like he is totally for me because he's rushed down and shit, but just yeah, you he's see? beyond obnoxious, and I'm just like, I don't like that. Yeah, you know? just like. It, it, like honestly, if Kai was an actual complete character, I'll admit it. Cause like he'll be completed in the next patch. Yeah, I, I want that. So it's just like, yeah. oh cool, the day I, I, I'm committed the day to a block string, and there's no safe way to end it. So I'm just gonna the die. The day they buff Nazo Miyuki, it's gonna be a fucking day. That's a good thing. He'll be sleeping on Nazo Miyuki even as he is now. He's just not a bad character. Really not. So I think you get 50 50s off like, of Lots of people are saying he's like normal. bottom three. I'm like, why did adults see that? Bottom three, I had definitely. I've seen. Fuck, I traded. Nice. 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 Easy think, top five, sorry. First off, his, first off his, con his control in neutral is actually fucking ridiculous because a lot of people don't realize at any point he gets a straight hit off anything, he gets free mix. Fuck, I knew that. He doesn't, he doesn't have to knock you down or anything. It's literally free mix in, during neutral. Now, on top smart. of that, they also have a command grab. He has a command grab, so as soon as you start mashing, you eat 75% off of any grab. So, now you but, no, I am now. I'm not. How are you alive? <laughs> I'm mashing. I got the power of God and anime yeah, yeah, on my like, side. See, look at that. You just ate dirt off of wrong schmicks. I mashed. Still. I was, 
That's the thing, though. He has a command grab, so you're going to mash anyway. And you get blown up for pressing buttons. I picked the wrong option. I don't see a problem. I see a problem. This character is sucked on. I'm sick of it. He's not, like, he's not broken or anything. People definitely sleep on him, but he's not busted. Oh, I know he's not busted. I've seen, the, I've seen what a busted characters look like. <laughs> but um, he's not busted. He's just a really strong character. The number one character that I want to get added to Strive DLC is Testament. I think he'd be such an interesting character. I just want Bike and Bag. Yeah, fuck yes! I want Bike and Bag. They made him add that, like, just, they did that ask... dumb poll, and they were just like, oh yeah, who's your favorite character? The whole West was like Biken. Like, she was one of the top characters to pick. I voted Biken because I played her in the last yeah, game. Yeah, like, I played her in, um, what is it, Accent Court. And I was like, yeah. You know, like, know who else would be a dope character to add? Uh, answer. Oh, yeah. Mm. I, Tell me something I'm, that's I'm not dope a on about uh, about a ninja secretary that uses psychic cards. Oh, I the cards. Me. Okay, he's okay. The man okay. literally gets fucking Jubei fucking teleports to mix off cards. Like guys, <laughs> I bet the eggs are players so happy if Elfelt came back as DLC. No thanks. <laughs> no Elfelt for me. That's that's fine. <laughs> I'll play her. Bro, just hold that high bear. No, I, I'll do no such thing. <laughs> Just hold that shotgun, bro. No. It's not like it's plus two. Send it. Damn, full send. <laughs> I mean, they could change health like they change changed Ramathal. They could do that. They could. If I bet you 10 bucks, they won't. I bet you 10 bucks, they will. I bet you 10 bucks, I just want good characters in this game. Max. <laughs> I mean, the rumors. The rumors about Jam being next got me pretty hyped. Jam's fun. I mean, yeah, I, 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 I think she should have been a main character. The whole first character pack just leaked. Just yeah. It's just. Oh, now. Nice block. I'm thinking Jacko is next. I'm good. Just because. Are you good? What, with, with Jacko? I uh, not good like I would be fine with Jacko. I'd be fine if it wasn't Jack. Yeah, just because yeah, Jacko, Jacko I hate has, Jacko. Like well, people Well Jacko dummy thick. Well you're dummy of fucking knowing. Stop playing this damn character. My man. My man. Yeah, because Jacko has like a super big significance to the story. I've, I don't give a fuck about the guilty gear story. I, mean, I kinda does. give a fuck about the, the story because I'm a nerd do. for writing. Fuck the developers. We just want a fighting game. Exactly. With arcade endings, that's all we need. That's all we need. Because arcade endings have some six, six fucking colors in the same as the film wallpaper. Some of my most favorite arcade endings came from Soul Calibur. That shit was fire. That was fire. <laughs> Staircase combo. You ate I ate that shit. <laughs> like breakfast. <laughs> Uh, I tried to press 2k. Uh, nice. Yeah, see, like, that's... I'm getting hit by that way more than I should, I feel like, and I don't have an answer to it. There's it. a gap between, like, the only answer you got is either, like, Roman Cancel or Break. You know there's a gap, you either gotta break it or just... Rarely is there no answer to a character. Uh, see, I always get hit by that shit. Remember that. There's always an answer to a character. You just gotta find it. See, I always get hit by that shit. Good wires. Okay. I'm bursting. I'm dead. You dying? <laughs> I'm dead. I'm crying. I'm sublime in at this game. The fact that her legs jiggle when she does that move. DJ? Yes. Excites me. <laughs> Listen, I will not deny it. Would you back dash in? I am. Uh... <laughs> I was about to say something out of pocket. Don't fuck it. Don't fuck it. I don't want to fucking grab this game. Start some chaos? Give Nago Ryu to Gordo back dash. What? I remember the, you know how how I bullied you with that back dash. You remember. I don't think we we played Undernight. You was one of your friends that played NQD, that's what it fucking was. <laughs> I was like, I either played you or one of your fucking friends at MSU. Yeah, but like when when we met at MSU I hadn't actually played Undernight before. 
Oh, by the way, I was... Now uh, I would like to because it's a sick game. I just don't know who anybody plays. Also, the netcode is boo-boo. The netcode is boo-boo. I haven't played much under night, so I only know how to play hide. I mean, hide's a fucking war criminal. What? Hide's a war criminal. He's, he's, he's fucking amazing. I want to get a dust cut. Like, literally, you playing hide is like saying, oh... I play Soul Bad Guy. Oh. I don't think Hyde is as bad as Soul. 6 6 C. You know, skip neutral. Pitches every backdash in the game. Also, low crushes. Also, one of his strongest combo starters. He practically gets nearly 4k off of any confirm. Has chip damage on all of his staggers. He's. He's. He's what? Look, I don't know. His two is a five frame? I don't know enough about the fucking game. I just didn't think he was that good. <laughs> like, ah! Not bad. Not bad, but I didn't think he was, like, busted. Hyde's a, Hyde is a slept on war criminal, is what Hyde is. Okay. His new move sucks, but it doesn't matter when any time you get fucking counter hit if a 4k off of a fucking beast starter. No, I was. I was. Officer, I blocked it! A lie detector determined that was a lie. Damn. I'm still fucking learning that. That's just lying. Also, I don't know if when you met me. If I seemed like super jittery and shit, like fucking, I just looked like I was hating my life that day. I don't think so. Oh. It'll probably be another day. But I was finding off of like a fever of like 99. Oh shit, alright. I fucking walked with Justin all the way to the boat. Just to play fighting. Okay. <laughs> that sounds unpleasant. So here are all the abbreviations of the characters that are in the files that don't relate to characters that are already released. There's ASK, who people think is that. Or Asuka. COS, who people think is Happy Chaos. Uh, Jam. It's kind of obvious. Jam is jam. JKO, which people think is Jack of Valentine. Makes sense. SLY, which people think is Slayer. And so. BKN, which is most likely by. Oh, I'm Wall Squad, and I'm eating oh, wait, a fat what the, 40%. What was the Slayer initials? SLY. Never mind. I thought I thought you were about to say SLK. I was gonna be like, that could be Sin. Yeah. Said something too scary. I wanted to hear that. So. Oh, imagine Sin in this way. That would be something else. I feel like Sin would just kind of be stupid. <laughs> yeah. They would They would have to do something with the calorie gauge. Ouch. I'm just worried I'll be grabbing literally doing more than 50%. Oh, God. <laughs> Alright, hey, yo, what in the off brand Starbucks? Dude, hold, hold your tongue. This is the most iconic location in the Guilty Gear franchise. Well, it used to be a very sad Starbucks. Don't lose this time. Nice. No! I saw! <laughs> Damn. He just gored out your shit. That's something I do on Undernight. Dash, backdash, dash, command throw? Yeah, no, that's a dumb shot. <laughs> Spencer, I'm telling you, you're a Gordo player at heart. He's just bottom three. He's just bottom three. You like suffering? Playing Gordo, you know what I'm playing Gordo was like? No. Doing your taxes made when you got max. I mean, I do that like every fucking year just so I can get the maximum amount of money. But yes, that is suffering. Fuck. You're suffering for more reward, right? Huh? You're suffering for more reward. That's what it is. Ah, I didn't think I was going to go that far. Man, I'm still so mad I didn't fucking beat White just at that tournament. Oh, you back out? I think you beat White Beast now. 
Huh? What what we Honestly, the strongest Arcanine player we had in this year. Is Undernight still having two points? Yes, the next one's all the way in Midtown and Lanta. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. So are they still releasing balance patches from No. Oh. I haven't released one in a very long time. Yeah. Fucking course. They're planning to expand the tournament scene here. I'm sorry, no one, I'm trying to teach you all to go under that here. Now I'm going under that. I'd be willing to go. Fuck, I'm here dashing so much. Uh, I'll think about it. <laughs> And I'm not saying I think about that and saying, oh god, I don't want to teach the mechanics. It's just the mechanic core, easy to learn, take a lifetime to master. Like, the underdog mechanics as a core takes a very long fucking time. Just play Soul Calibur. Like Smash. Just play Soul Calibur. Play Soul Killer Instinct. Nah. Nah. Don't, don't even try that. That game, like, I've been playing that shit forever now. I mean, that is it fair. takes a lot. It's it a lot harder than a lot of people think it is. No, it is. It is. You, I think you and I can both agree that competitive level KI is some fucking shenanigans. Oh, no, bro. It's amazing. I miss playing that shit. Well, it's so interactive. It's more interactive than people fucking think. It really is. I like doing ultras and grand finals and beating people. Like, and then just fucking doing Shadow ultra. Jago into the fucking dive kick reset. Yeah, oh, no. too bad he sucks. Yeah, too bad he's dog shit. I mean, I still made him. Yeah, I was still playing. I mean, I played Omen when everyone said Omen was like dog shit. I mean, I play Omen. Like, Omen's godly. Just, Omen's really good. He's dog shit. He's an incomplete character on purpose. He's a bonus character with uh, Season 2. Can I play someone? Yeah. I knew it. I tried to press. <laughs> I was like, I was like, I'm just gonna do it for <laughs> shits and giggles. <laughs> oh, reasonable. I mean, I'm I'm the one getting hit by it. <laughs> Uh, wow, I messed it up. I can't believe you had enough time to post last there. The move recovers super fast because you can uh, like get counters and shit off of it. And combo with standing slash. No, dude, I'm so fucking dead. Oh, I dropped it. Drop, so many American resets? Fuck. I'm gonna drop the PlayStation. <laughs> Fuck this shit. Turn off the PlayStation. Do you? Did you guys hear about the fucking dude for BB Tag Evo? He got so mad. He fucking literally uninstalled BB Tag off the PlayStation <laughs> and literally turned off the fucking console. Dude, <laughs> How do you fucking. Bro, my face, look, look, this would have been me, right? As he would have deleted my BB Tag, I would have been like. <laughs> now I gotta go home. Dude, literally Now sad. I gotta reinstall. You know what, know what he said? Know what he said prior to? Uh, my time has come. <laughs> <laughs> My time has come. My time has come. <laughs> Nigga, is that the uninstall button? <laughs> yes. Exactly. Oh, uh, I'm so lost. What do you fight for? Banger. Okay. 
Oh, there we go. Kai Keys. My boy Vicky. Man, fuck them need for speed colors. I need something like pink, but I don't got it. Said, like, oh, this doesn't have all the DLC, so I can't do so. Like, I just don't have nope. any like actual. I do. I should have that color unlocked. Really? Yeah. I know. Pre it was I a pre-order. Oh yeah. Earlier really pre-ordered it like 30 minutes before the game dropped. You've been asking me about character. Oh, probably not. Well, I, I told you I really like Elf, which is unfortunate. Yeah. One second, Spencer. What? Are you gonna be right home tonight? Depends. I got gas money. Uh, your boy is broke, broke after moving into his trailer and shit. Would you like some gas money? I will. Uh, I'm waiting on Cliff to start. Oh, wait, I need it. I need to uh, do this. Huh? You ain't got no cash on me? Then I'll stop at a gas station before we go home. If I take it back. Good shit. <laughs> well, I also like, uh... Good burst. Oh, I, I know she was top five. Right? Is that gonna knock me away from him? Yep. Wow. Draw the curtain. Huh? Yeah, I do. Dragon install. I mean, I get it. You can see his damage buff. Like, it just it feels like it's like Pandora from Tekken Cross Street, Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Hey, hey, hey! Please keep that he Right now. I just need to be more in the first corner in the wild. 
which is the French Bastille, not the what? That beats Ride the Lightning? It do. It bursts anything off of me, no matter what. Like, if you see me in Blood Rage, get away or block it. Okay. I can teleport? Who, me? Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't call it like a true teleport, but yeah, it's my dad. Oh, yeah. What is that? So, the cycle is 17 seconds. They changed the world. Like here, it was. It should be out. Every picture got what? Down, 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 Okay. So, how do I beat Nagoriyuki? Uh, kind of got to try to stay plus in his face. Uh, anything, anything that can keep you plus, basically, uh, is your best friend. Um, if you can, uh, yeah, projectiles too are really good. But you got to be careful because I can break your projectiles with this right here. Uh, but anything that kind of can keep you away from me is like really good. Try to force me to use all my moves so I go into Blood Rage if you can. You play a good keep away game when you're beating me. Um, yeah, and then uh, Wakai, he's got like uh, that one kick that's like plus as hell. In the corner, that's like your best friend. Okay. Okay. Whatever it is, I don't, I don't know what this it one? is. This one? Nah, the other one. This one? Yeah, the one, you, the next one. It's like, it's, this one. it's, it's super one. slow. No, it's like standing and it's like super slow. I don't know what the kick is, it's like super plus. It's like a command kick. Like four kick, is it four kick? It's stunned. I just hit four kick. That, right there, that's your best friend, because you're plus as hell on block on that. It is your turn after you do that. See, I can't do nothing else today. If I'm in the corner, that's one of your best friends, but you gotta be careful throwing it out, because then I can just interrupt it like crazy. See, I can't hit him on that. Okay. Um, yeah, and then, like, I don't have weight on my move, so I have to take the block. I, I know it's like. It's not this to talk to you, but it's off after. Yeah, you were telling me about that. Also, is the Guriyuki's grab that faster than guys? No, it's the uh, long normal grab the two frame, then I have a command yeah. grab like this. The command grab will beat it out if you do that. Grab it at the same time as I do the command grab. When, when would I look at the Yep. Um, her bar, so my uh, my standing slash and heavy slash get further. So if I'm at level two, it reaches the furthest. Then obviously level three, I can reach all the way across the screen down here. Wow. Yeah, so I don't so want that meter to fill up. Yeah, but obviously you can't prevent it. Like you want it to fill up, you can't prevent it. Like, you want it to fill up because you want me to go in the blood rage. Yeah, but obviously you can't prevent it. Like you want it to fill up because you want me to go in the blood rage. Because then I lose all my special moves while I'm in I would have to practice. I mean, she also has an airflow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
so I don't want to do a rush down. Right? You, you kind of want to, because if you just let me rush you down, then it's harder on you. Okay. So like, if I'm I, mean, I, I, I can like play like rush down and patient. Yeah. So I think rushing down for you is like one of the best bets. Then it prevents me from doing things. Is this your PS4? Yeah. Well, dusty piece of shit. Draw the curtain. That might hit you. Seriously? Yep. The ride the lightning does the invincible. Should have more priorities. Yeah, no, nah, it should blow it up, but it won't. Because Kaizen finished. Yeah. I think he's finished, it's just they made it him weak. Like, his dragon install should be way better than what it is. Yeah. Especially the, when you start it. You should not be able to get punished that hard for, you, for like, using dragon install. So when I'm in the corner against Nagoro Yuki, what do I do? Um, if you see me dash in your face, 2P, two, two 5T, uh, TK, 5K, uh, you can grab me out of my forward dash also. Uh, like this move, you can grab me out if I'm like, in your face. But you gotta be careful because I can stop it short wherever I want to. And then, obviously, like I did earlier, I can go ballistic and get left the options. Embrace the light. What? No, That's why I got This game's why I'm gonna go play bum ass type Or you could satisfy Zacko if you're in play Gonna get punished. Oh, nice. I already did move. Oh. 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 Be careful jumping in because my two heavy slash reaches are really high. Okay. It's slow, but it reaches really high. Set this like a blank spot. I'm like, today I'm going to do that for you when I get to the Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, it's 
scored the main throw. So it's a very strong combo on our side. Is there anything I should be doing better? I don't play Kai. Um, if I knew more about Kai, I would tell you. That. Um, I do know is like you need to figure out what moves are good for you on plus, and you need to work on like poking in neutral, definitely. Because like I, I when I'm poking, like I'm doing this, this, and I'm trying to bait out a counter hit like that. Sigma here, I'd be like talking to him about Kai because he's a really good Kai player. Yeah. Yeah. He's one of the regulars, he has a lot of See, that one. Is he on the Discord server? I don't know. I, I don't really use Discord like that. I'm about to get you here. That does it. <laughs> oh, what is that? Yeah, no, it did. Hey, he's bad. He's so bad. You have faith in me. I have faith in you, bro. Believe in me that believes in me that believes in me that believes in me that believes in me. What in the girl Lagan did you just say to me? Yeah, you heard me. Take <laughs> he a drill break, bro. Pierce the heavens. Pierce the heavens. Pierce the heavens, bro. Pierce them cheeks. Man, fuck this game. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, this game's crack, I swear to God. I haven't been like, I don't know, like, man. Dude, remember, why, why, why do these margarita runs taste so weird? Oh, no, that's crack. <laughs> I, I remember when you and um Justin just got into fighting games and shit. Y'all were just wee lads. And I'm out over here making big moves, getting invited to fucking exhibitions by Arxis and shit. You need to. Where really did you? Two. Why didn't you take it? I did. Oh, did you? Are you going? No, 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 no. They're all on exhibitions. Oh, okay, okay. That's sick, though. That's fucking 
I played in the Frosty Faustin's exhibition. Didn't you win one of them? Or I know you won one online tournament at least. Yeah, I won. Nice fights. Uh, I didn't. Uh, I didn't win. Oh, I didn't win FGC Fight Club. I won second twice FGC Fight Club. Anyway, uh, long story short, I make work. I do things. Yeah. Like, uh, I participate in the Frosty Fashion Fashion Festival Five. I got robbed. So I will straight up say that. Lag. The, the host is connected. I lost. Oh wow, that's the lead. But then I played one of the best capacity players in North America in the first attack and I played and I, I won six games. Huh? But I just beat him in the first two, so I won seven. Whatever. I'm talking about your fan. What about it? Yeah, it's fine. That's why I we just were playing casuals. It's fine. We're talking now. Anyways, I'm about I might start trying to do like net play like Saturdays or some shit. That'd be cool. In this, I I gotta like iron some bullshit out. Yeah. I was talking to like Matt about something like that. I just gotta figure it all out. Like what days work for everybody. I think Saturdays like the best day though, because it's like I usually get Tuesdays and Saturdays off. You know, so I would definitely like tell all my my IRL friends who don't play fighting games be like. Don't fuck with me that day. <laughs> but uh, if we did that, though, like, I don't know, like, what I would do exactly. Because, like, I, want, I would like to stream it. But also, like, since it does, it, I don't know what's with new fighting games not having a traditional lobby system anymore. Yeah, it's fucking wack. I hate that shit, bro. Guilty Gear especially. You know what? Even Maybe lobbies are better than Guilty Gear. You know what? Yeah, Trampol, any any lobbies are better than fucking this game's lobbies. It's like Cabo Hotel. Yeah, bro, I thought it was a cool concept, but then it's like, it just didn't work out. It just doesn't... It sucks, and it doesn't fit with the Guilty Gear aesthetic like it Yeah, was. like, they should have just been like, oh, cross-tag battles. Like, yeah. I was fine with those and Dragon Balls, and especially, I thought yeah, Grand Blue's live system were actually Yeah, with like the arcade games. Yeah, I thought they looked cool. I was yeah. like... I was like, oh, how are they going to do, like, I mean, at it's going to be, like, a metal concert kind of thing with yeah. arcade stick cabinets? No. I, at least it's not, like, multi-blow, where you got to sit there and type binary code to join somebody's line. Yeah. Oh, dude, yeah, we, we don't talk about that, bro. Um, so I'm fucking playing my, C++ fucking code to join somebody's game. My big thing is, is, like, I, I was just, like, at the Grand Blue, why don't why they just, like, let's just do these lobbies? Yeah, like, it's, like... Grand Blue, I, I played ranked, where like I queued up, and it just like just yeah, I like that. And, and then I, I went I like into the the, I like the I went into the actual lobbies, and I'm like, yeah. oh, I don't, oh, I this see. doesn't make me want to kill myself. <laughs> yeah, dude, you just walk up to. The, I like how you can spectate other people's thing too. I was like, that's cool, and like you can queue up to play against someone else because like I seen like a bunch of dudes from like SRM and shit playing. I was like, oh, shit, I'm just gonna queue up against a lot of them. Suck. <laughs> <laughs> Grand Blue. A lot of them really sucked. That was command grabbing them like fucking nuts. But it was online, so I don't really care. You know? yeah. I mean, Boss Raga is kind of cold in the first game. Boss Raga is still cold, bro. I still like Grand Blue. It's just nobody, net code here, is... nobody here wants to play. The net code is... I didn't have a bad time with it, right? I don't have as bad of a time with it as I do Dragon Ball Fighters and Soul Calibur and Tekken. Like, those games online are garbage. Dog shit, bro. And then, like, Tekken 7, they tried to fix it. And I tried to play it. I was like... Man, I'll play because Cliff plays, and I'll just casually play this shit with y'all just for fun. Nah, bro, that, that online is still dog shit, bro. I, I can't believe Harada's okay with that shit, man. Like, same with the Kubo for fucking um, Soul Calibur. I can't believe they're okay with that shit. I was like, how can you guys as developers be okay with this shit? Kimone has been working on rollback for months. Hmm? Kimone has been working on rollback for, like, months. months. For what? Undernight. Oh, really? The he's developers? Been work, he's been working. Everyone was like, hey, yo, ask the artists to help. Like, and then, like, after, like, everyone blew up Arxus on Twitter, literally, Ikonu was like, don't ask anybody for shit ever again. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, and then Arxus, they need to work on Dragon Ball Fighters, because that online is still dog water, bro. It's, it's not the worst, but it's... No, it's the worst. It's worse. Like, it, it's worse than Soul Calibur 4 on the 360. All right, and that game's online was dog water. It's better than uh, Grand Blue. I don't know, bro, because I play Grand Blue and I don't have as many issues as I do like with Dragon Ball. Like I load up Dragon Ball on the PC, my PlayStation, and my Xbox. Uh -huh. Dog shit. I play Grand Blue on my PlayStation. I'm like, oh shit, nine times out of ten, I have a decent connection. Then you run into, then you run into the one guy who's playing on Wi-Fi or like uh -huh. is in Mexico or something. Yeah. You know? I'm just like, oh fuck. 
I was like, great. I, I didn't really have a great experience with the rank, but like, yeah. maybe I just got... Uh, just play, dude, like, especially playing in like, the start of it, like, yeah, the start, when you're like, in like, the low ranks, yeah, that's where all the Wi-Fi warriors are. Yep. Yeah. Once you get to like, at like, A, B, even B, A, S, triple S, and all that shit, that's when like, you start running into people who actually play on wire. But my thing was, is that, I kept finding people in our region, you know, like in our section of America or whatever. I, I literally made like a big thing about like, oh, are you from here? Are you from, you know, if you're like, the furthest I did was like New York. Yeah. And you know, I was just like, if you're from like this far, you know, I'll play you and shit. And rank, you, you just had to kind of just take what you got, you know? And yeah. Rank was kind of, uh, eh. But then like the actual lobbies, I, that's where I had the most fun, bro. I just, I don't know, these Japanese developers suck. Like, I feel bad for Smash. Their online is fucking garbage, oh, dude. Their, their garbage. Their online is so bad that they don't even call it online. Smash players call it Wi-Fi. It's like, do you want a Wi-Fi? <laughs> do you want a Wi-Fi, bro? <laughs> like, I, I I feel bad, bro. I'm just yeah. like, damn, I feel bad it. for you guys. You can get an adapter to hook up it, it, Even then, it's still dog shit. Yeah. Like, it's still dog shit. Like, That's even if you get an Ethernet cable, it's still crap. Oh, yeah, because everyone's sitting there in the handheld mode like, Yeah, mom, I'm playing Smash Bros! <laughs> and all like the serious players are sitting like, you fucking Wi-Fi warrior piece of shit. You know, I'm just like, ugh. <laughs> feel bad for them, bro. And then they're still being like, Yeah, we're going to hold online tournaments for Dragon Ball Fighters and oh. Tekken. And I'm like, Why? Why are you doing this? <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> Why are you having online <laughs> tournaments for these games that don't have acceptable online? Like, Who made you like for real? Who made me like this? So Calibur 6 made me like this. Every Talk fighting shit. game dev. Cause Soul Calibur 5! Yo, I don't know if I, everyone hated Soul Calibur 5. That game was godly, bro. A lot of people hate it, but it was godly. Hey, look, and, I like, don't even so keep it keep it keep it The reason bro. why I played Soul Calibur 5 was because of Ezio. That's it. Dude, nah. Ezio was dog water. He was my dude still. Z I exactly. Love him. He was still good. But like, bro, my big issue with that shit was like Soul Calibur 5 had the oh, best God. online for any fighting oh, game back then. The premier internet online for like delay base even. I was like, damn, this is good. This is awesome. When did the Soul Calibur come out? Like 2012. But like, bro, I was sitting here having a good time playing this shit, man. Like online, I had friends in Florida. I had niggas in Europe who were playing against me, bro. We were all tight headed. We had like, huh? You had Boo Boo Net. What? You have Boo Boo Net. You have Boo Boo Net. No, I don't. I don't get any internet that's below like 200 megs of speed, bro. I'm sorry. I try and I always play on a wire. I'm sorry that you like playing on Wi-Fi. I had nineteen dollars. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, AT&T. Yeah, that's your Wi-Fi. Back then, in bro. high school. Yeah, no, your Wi-Fi dog shit. Anyways, Soul Calibur Five, bro, had like the best Wi-Fi, like not Wi-Fi, but online back then, bro. And like, Call of Duty. Soul Calibur Six comes out and it's just like. What is this shit? And that oh, shit hurt me. That's the worst. That shit hurt me, bro. I was like, because I put like 3,000 hours in five. I was playing against like Woes. I was playing against Zephu Kai. I was playing against all these really big names. Well, I was cool with them too. And I still message them every once in a while. I'm like, how you doing? Let's go. You know, like this shit was cool. And then it's just like, <laughs> our online's bad. You can't play with your friends no more. And I was like, tragic. Thanks. That's I was like, thanks, bro. I was like, I was so sad. Like, yeah. to this day, I'm still sad. I, I, it, it makes me depressed. That's why I don't even start this shit up anymore. <laughs> And then when I do start it up, I sweat for like a couple of days and I stop playing again. <laughs> like, man, that shit made me so salty, wow. dude. And they were like, oh, we updated tech and I played it and I was like, this is shit. I said you don't know what you're doing. It's shit online. It's shit. This game has good online. Go but it's a shit bro. game. It's shit fucked up. It's not a shit game. There's nothing shit about this game. There's nothing Ooh. shit about Grand Blue. There's nothing shit about Central Fiction, dude. There's nothing shit about any of these new fighting games coming out. It's just all about... No, it's all about preference, dog. If you don't like it, that's fine. This game is not shit. This game is good. This game See, is... Guilty Gear Strive just isn't my thing. Until there's a reason for it to be my thing, it's just not my thing. Yeah, bro. I mean, like, there's no reason to really hate... If you don't like it, I mean... More power to you, bro, but like... It... Here's my thing, though. I got picking up XR. I mean, obviously, Strive and XR are like two completely different universes. I know. But when I was playing XR, I was like, this is enjoyable. I can see why people like it. I can see why people play it. But I also don't feel like it's my game. Mind you, I'm, I play on like, it's a fucking hell and back. But before I played on it, I played like Marvel, KI, all that fuck shit. So it's like, I had like a. Beat your ass in KI. Alright, keep going. First of all, I wasn't hearing you, motherfucker. We still have to play some time. I'll play my up. Xbox next time, bro. I, I got, I got, I will actually play it on pass. I'll play my I'm not, Xbox. Next right time. Here, you know, Xbox? I'm not putting it on my laptop. I'm not putting it on my laptop. I was gonna say, bro, I have, I've been trying to play KI on stick. I'm probably just gonna bring in my Xbox controller. 
Do that. <laughs> I have two remotes, but like one of mine is like so worn down. No, because literally playing AI on the controller just feels so good. Dude, but Killer Instinct online. Let's talk about that shit, bro. That game's online is godly. I'd be playing against dudes from Pakistan. They're like, bro, how you doing, bro? And I'm just like, hey, what's going on, man? He's like, I love KI, bro. Thanks for playing. I'm like, yeah, man, dude, that's cool, dude. Like, I was I remember, like, I remember gang, some... nice omen, even though you suck, good omen, bro. He thinks, bro, can you help me get better, bro? I'm like, yeah, dude, what's your name? My name is Wahid. I'm like, yo, what's <laughs> good, <nigga> Wahid? My nigga Wahid. So let me tell you some real shit. I love that I'm, shit, dude. You make the craziest people on KI. I don't know. I really played, do. I was, being, I was playing. I played bass once. I beat him once. I got my ass beat. But this was still when I was like, man, man, should we have a day go? I'm on right now. But I remember I was playing Saber and I was telling him, he's like, man, not like this. Not like this. Not like this. And I'm like, Learn how, learn how to dash block, my guy. You're playing Saber Wolf. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Fucking dash in and do a fucking EX sweep. Like, let's, let's, be, let's be honest here. Let's, I remember we were at ShootoCon one year, and it then Cliff comes out of the blue, and I'm steamrolling the whole Killer Instinct tournament, bro. He's like, put your dick in the mouth! Put your dick in that nigga's mouth! Oh, bro, I'm sitting there just like, bro, chill. You know what's bro, crazy? You what's Jesus crazy? Cr at the VTT tournament, that's what that's what exactly what the fuck Spencer did. Yep. Spencer was like, beat that nigga's ass. Yeah, bro. Beat his ass. Oh, you he ain't that shit. Yeah, Your bro. Pres his pressure is whack. <laughs> bro, uh, dude, yeah, bro. Like, I, I'm sorry, dude. If I get hype, I get hype, and I can't contain it, bro. bro like, literally? I'm sorry if like if I see any of you guys like do like some crazy like if I'm not in grand finals and I see some crazy shot, I'll, I'll pop off, bro. I don't care. <laughs> Like, I'm cool with everybody. Never take that shit seriously, bro. I'll pop off no matter what. I don't care. Dude, no, it was If great. I have a reason to pop off, I do it. Oh, you said you, you need gas money, right? Yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah, dude, I'll give any, like, I'll pop off for anybody, bro. My friends. I have, I'll more, I have more than this, but this is some side I'll pop off for you when you actually Except that one time. do some good shit. No. That's <laughs> I'll pop off next time they actually have a tech for <laughs> this has been our TED Talk. This has been Paco Kuroneko's TED Talk. Bro, we should honestly like do like some crazy podcast Who the fuck shit. is Bye Ted? One? I got some dogs. Who is Ted? Well, that's just... It might be more. Who is Ted? That's fine. That's, fine. that's, fine. that's good. I, was saying, I got more bread. Yeah, that's good. Who is Ted? It, it, I don't even know. It's just everyone just calls it a TED Talk. I just kind of went with the flow. I don't know what the fuck that's from. <laughs> but uh, dog, like man, dude, we should honestly do that, bro. Like we should get together, like sometime, just talk fighting games and play while we talk about it. That shit would be kind of cool. Like a bunch of us just chilling out and shit, like we are right now. Like come up here and actually do that after tournament and shit too. That'd be kind of cool. That'd be fucking sick. That'd be sick actually. Put it on Spotify. <laughs> <laughs> there might be a few that, more steps in between those. Yeah, two yeah, things. yeah. But like, um, I don't know, man. We do stuff like this right here. You know, I'm probably like upload. It'll be like, we'll call it the Kuro Neko Corner. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. <laughs> Kuro Neko Corner. Like, I'll go home tonight. I'll go tonight. That's not even basic. That's good. I, I will go home tonight and splice this part, and we'll call it the Kuro Neko Corner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was it was very enjoyable. We're about to about the fighting games before. I was into fighting games. Yeah. Like, the magical experiences of these. Hey, yo, real shit. Let me, let me keep it. Let me keep it. Yeah. <laughs> so, what, did you, have you ever played a fighting game before you seriously got into fighting games? So, I would say the first fighting game I actually got serious about was DBFC. But before that, I fucked around with, like, if you were I, I had passionate, you were passionate, passionate I had about fighting, fighting game, game, I had um, so it's not your King of Fighters game. 13 was the first fighting so, game I ever played. So if you're passionate really? about if, yeah. you're, if you're passionate about fighting oh, game at any given point, you're a part of the FGC. Real shit. I think you just play a fighting game, you're part of the FGC. You like if you enjoy a fighting game, you're part of the FGC. Like I hate when people like sit there and they're like, how do you, how do I become part of the FGC? How what do I do? Just play fighting games. Play fighting games? That's yeah, that's what I was saying, though. I'm just, I'm no, just no, saying I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just throwing this out there, because if, if, we're, if we're throwing this corner TED Talk out, out of nowhere, I got I got have my piece. Because people sit there and they try to talk about, like, how we get in the fighting games, how we get in the fighting games, once we play start game the fighting games. Play a fighting game. If you love what you're doing, you're going to meet people who love what... They will love what you're doing as much as you love what you're doing. They'll give you the same energy you're giving, and that's when you start making friends. Yeah, and then, yeah exactly. And then once you start making friends, you start making training partners and training buddies, and then you become better. And then you sit down and you go, damn, 
This is already a great experience. Sometimes it can be a bad experience. I, I know sometimes I've heard, I've heard, I've heard, I've heard people talk about it's like, well, I tried with this player or I tried to play with this player and it wasn't the best experience. Okay. Fuck them. How, how, what's the percentage of the world of people that hate you? Like 7%? Yeah. Like 7% of the people who play fighting games are not going to like you. That's okay. It's, it's not the end of the world. It's like you play a game that you like, you meet some cool oh people, God, maybe you, you have so a racket demon that you run into, plays Faust and fucks oh you up every week. I feel like that was a little. I feel like that was a little personal. I feel very attacked. I met myself. I, got, I was going to say I got him to stop playing Faust. I got him to stop playing Faust. <laughs> now to now I got to worry about switch. Faust and Anji. So like, we're, we're in the same boat. And I almost had him this week too, man. Like I really did. You were playing solid. I was something. Solid. My attention. I was glued to the screen. And something Faust. about I, I had to adjust like that. That reset. I adjusted. I was glad something I went to about bracket demons that needs to be made very clear. Can I be called a bracket demon? I mean, you practically are a bracket demon with some people here. Alright, cool. <laughs> We've only played in bracket once. Come to think of it. I think we played a couple it's of bracket times. Bracket demons? Yeah, yeah. You just yeah. gotta, you know, we you played last week. Some yeah, I think we played like a week or two before that, you too. Catch some old school and then I know me and you always run casuals after Bracket we're done demons shoot, are so. something you can work towards and something you can develop yourself yeah. towards. I was back with Neutral Ground and I played White Beast and I took a round off White Beast. He, beat, he obviously beat me that side, but he told yeah. me... Um, Alucard told me, if you take a round off somebody, you can take a game off somebody. If you can take a game yeah. off somebody, you can, you can take, take a set, set. off. Yeah, off you can take a set. That's so true. So, even if you get your ass beat, like, if you lose, that's okay. There did, you take, did, you take, did you take a round? Did you take a game? Did you take a, you take a cool, more life than you usually do when they usually beat you badly? There's always takeaways to go from in these bracket demons, and I feel like people... Worry about their bracket demons? I was worried about my bracket demons. Back when I played Miller. Yeah. Back I remember, did you beat Miller? Yeah. Did you beat Miller one time? I, I think I was there when you and, beat him. And, yeah, no, I beat him 3 1. I also beat him at neutral. Yeah. That's, a, that's not the point. The point is, Miller was something I had to work towards, something I'd have to grind towards. I had so many games came out around the time that I was getting, I got into uni. I just oh played nothing God. but uni. I played uni. I would lab and practice and play that play on uni for like seven hours a day. Yeah. So, like, so, bracket demons are probably one of the most important factors when it comes to became, becoming a better player and becoming good at what you do. Because from there, you have something to focus on, something to achieve. Now, I feel like when people set goals, I feel like they set their goals so high they have to say, I want to be X player, I want to be this dominant player, I want to be known for, I want my nukes to be godlike. No. But improve your anti game. Improve your fundamentals. Yeah. It'll, it'll take you. I told I told Zero Syndicate that they actually beat me. That I've been working on my neutral. I've been working on myself as a player. And neutral and those things will take you further than any combo, any optimal, any matchup. Yeah, bro, I've been working trying to tell people that too. It's the basics that carry. You. It's always the basics, dude. If you have the bad like fundamentals and basics, bro, you win. Basic like, fundamentals never change from game to game. Yeah. The mechanics change, but the fundamentals never change. See, when I when I was learning fighters, that's why I don't like it. Shut up, yeah. <laughs> shut up, bro. The fundamentals are there, bro. Like if you have a base, if you have a basic knowledge of fundamentals, you're playing. You're you're already playing this game. Because it's not as anime, so like they removed some fundamentals and they added some. This game's a lot more footsie heavy. It's a lot more counter hit heavy. It's a lot more this and that. It feels, it feels they wanted to make a different game, and they got what they got. They got a whole new game, basically. They were just—they wanted to make it more accessible. They wanted to make it more accessible for the more casual player because the casual players are who sell the games, who make, who get the now, games. Here's, here's, here's the issue. Here's the issue, though, right? No, nah, bro, it doesn't work like that. No, hang on, hang on. I'm sorry, bro. It doesn't work like that. If I, if me, I'll use my dad as an example, bro, because my dad loves playing Mortal Kombat. He loves playing Soul Calibur, right? He loves those games. You really think that nigga's gonna sit there and like try to be like me going to tournaments and playing that shit? No. You think he wants to learn how to do a fucking 80 hit combo? No. He wants to see Ivy's mommy milkers on the screen jiggling while he's doing some crazy shit. Just mashing a button. That's all he wants. Let me shake this Those are the casual players, bro. Those, 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 the reason we can have a guilty game is because the casual players. It's so popular. Yeah, that's what's the problem. In the same though. Yeah, but then if you cater towards only the hardcore players, then the casual players aren't going to want to play it. 
That's why you have to have a mix oh, of okay. ca more okay. casual, okay. like, you're fundamentals. Not that to, you're not going to be able to walk on the basketball People not court. getting into your new game is, like, the worst thing that can yeah, happen to it. It's yeah, it's like, like asking, not, like, let me, like, let's, also, let me like, play, like, let's say if I played yeah, Axe Corp, bro, say, like, it's not like I'm going to hop in and be like, I'm a god. It's going to take, like, two years, three years. You're not going to walk on the basketball court full of hoopers and expect your casual ass to be just balling out with these ballers. No. Yeah, but some people have fun. Some people do it and still have fun even though they suck at right, basketball. Right, Okay, so why do we have to change the fundamentals of basketball? They don't. Just to you don't have to change the fundamentals, if I, if I but you can have fun still. But you got they the do that. Yeah. yeah, but this game still has its basic fundamentals that every fighting game has, bro. You can and make up okay. Guilty Gear Strive and fuck around with the game and play it with people who are on floor four and have ah. fun and you don't have to get any better than that. Yeah. If you just pick up the game, you're not going to start beating it fucking uh, the grudge yeah, shit, yeah. Yeah. yeah like uh, oh hold on no tell that to people who are actually prominent at fighting games like yikes yeah but we're not talking about that but no but i'm just saying we're not talking though. about I'm, I'm them just right saying now. though it's not gonna matter on how easy you make the game when people like yikes are so prominent at fighting games it doesn't it doesn't matter what you do nigga it, you you pick up they pick up dive kick and they're playing like fucking monsters whoa this is dive kick I didn't expect you to do all that in dive kick. That's, you know, that's, 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 this that's just back. competitiveness at the point, bro. This, it's just competitive play This is why I circle bro. back to fundamentals, though. Like, basically what you said. Jipes and fundamentals are so ridiculously good that it doesn't matter what you pick. He picks up. He's just good at it. Right. He's good. But yeah. at the same time, their games, like Guilty or Strive, and obviously this is not the full case, because Strive is Strive. There are games out there to help improve your fundamentals. So like for example, you go out to play these ballers, you get you get a jump shot smacked up there. Now you have reason to work on your jump shot. You have reason to work on your three-pointer, your free yeah. throw. You have these games that aren't the best at improving your fundamentals, but they exist to teach you things about fighting. Yeah. I feel like this game doesn't teach you shit about fighting. It teaches you a lot. Specifically, it teaches you a ton. Specifically about every fucking move is a counter. That's not gonna, you know, teach you how to play other games. Like well, three, how do you get a counter here? Like Street Fighter. Yeah, you get a counter here. No, no, no. Well, 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 not every character is the case. Not every character is the case. Soul. Oh, I'm throwing out a bunch of other characters. Soul. Soul. Balrog Street Fighter V. Remember early Balrog Street Fighter V? I was talking about this earlier. The character was a monster. You could two tap you at any point. She was stupid. Fuck Balrog. Fucking Wagner and Undernight that bitch is ridiculous. Uh, give me a fucking... Calamity Trigger Rodna. <laughs> you oh, messed up once, but it was like 90% of your Yon health. Yon in Street Fighter 4? Yes. Yeah. Like that. There's always going to be a case where they just are that outlier that breaks the rule. Fucking Nacka. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, it's an yeah. FKX. I play FKX all the time. It's an alien. Yeah. yeah. Acidic alien, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but bro, this game is good, bro. I mean, I get why you don't like it, but I mean, it is a good game. Like, I, I have like played the other Guilty oh Gears and shit. I have played them, but I, I do enjoy this. It's, it's I, also, I enjoy newer, like, OGs and Soul Calibur. I love Soul Calibur, too. I still play it. But so, I still like 5 and 6. Here's, here's, and a, here's a way to you also explain this, right? Some people like the foreign cars. They like the new fancy shit. They want the new Bugattis, the Lamborghinis. Some people just want the old model Camaros. No, are you a are you a new Bugatti person? Why you go play the new, new Blazing Miles, Fighters are you game a new that's coming out? <laughs> you see that shit? You, like, you can you have them both. Like, like you can, I'm they can coexist. Like this doesn't have to I'm replace XR. Like you can, uh, you can still play. No, I understand. I understand. Yeah. I understand. Yeah. I get that. If you don't like Strive, I get that. I get fine. You don't like Strive. Strive is a very weird game. That's why playing XR, people still play it, and it's a fun game. And this is one of those games where every case can be made. MK11 was that game for a while. How is this? MK11 was fun. I still like it. You know, I still go back and play it every once in a while. I feel like it's fun. K Brad posted something on Twitter. I want to also bring this up. If you find your why, everything will fall into place. Yeah. Like, he was kind of he was talking about why do you enjoy playing fighting games? Why did you become a competitive player in the first place? Once you figure out your why, everything oh. falls into place. Why did I get into fighting games? Why did you get into fighting games? That shit's fun. <laughs> it's just fun. <laughs> it's just fun. I had, I had that, can, that can be all there is to it. 
It was it's fun. Just, it's it's fun. fun. Yeah, it's That's fun it. for me. It's just I had, fun. I had shit to prove at one point. Like, yeah, like I like to compete. It's it was, fun it to was, improve it was, it was gradually, yeah. and like it's satisfying it's when you get like the little thing, thing that you've could, been working on. Yeah, like I like watching. I like helping people too. So I mean, I like helping people learn how to play them too. Yeah. So it's like once you figure out your why, everything just falls into place. So I'm becoming a better, becoming a better player. You know why I do it? Why? Smoke crack. But you're not a soul player though. It's just a surprise. It's just since the pride. You as a kid, you get the girl, and then you finally fucking beat girl after he kicked your ass back down. Uh, you know, See, that's not why, though. That's, Lord, that, Lord, that's Lord. that Mortal Kombat gold for me, bro. That game was ass. It's that, it's that, it's that. It's that, it's that, it's that, Goro, like, oh, I beat him it's that, it's that MK9 challenge tower when Goro, Kintaro, and Melina and Shao Kahn. Oh, oh, no, don't get me started, bro. That shit was rough. <laughs> that shit was rough. Block the disabled. Block the disabled. Yeah, yeah bro. Right, man. MK9 was gaming, bro. I think it was broken. MK9, shit MK9 was, was fun. fucking. Bro, the fucking 2v2s in MK9, bro. That shit that was, was fun. So that dope. shit was fun. Uh, yeah. Why did they like carry over the other MKs? That would have been so fun. Yeah, I, I think they just did it because MKX, I don't think, really needed it. it it's, it's in there. Yeah, Nobody I know, but it's it. in like. Nobody plays that mode. MKX does not have a tag mode. It, it, it does oh. not have no fucking tag mode, bro. It does not have a goddamn tag mode. Probably in the towers. It has, it has a team mode. Yeah, where like you call out like an assist. That's not the same as MK9. It's comboing into the general alive. With. Why did they take out tag? They didn't. They did. In DOA six, they did. No, they didn't. Yes, tag they did. DOA six mode. doesn't have tag. They took what? out DOA six and tag. Uh, they took out DOA six and tag. <laughs> they took out tag and DOA six. <laughs> Yes, they did. Bro, I played DO6 heavy for a while. I played it for like two it's months straight. Separate. And nobody wanted to play with me. It's a separate, it's a separate yeah, mode. No, nobody wanted to play Dead or Alive with me, all right? I, li I like 6. I thought it was cool. It's just the DLC practice was dumb. The DLC practice sucked, but like the rest of the game was sick. Like, it was sick, bro. The graphics are fresh as hell. The, ga the gameplay is still good. It's DOA 5 with like eight different steps now. <laughs> it was sick. Like, DOA 6 is a good, yeah, good game. Yeah, you can DOA 6 is a good game, but like everyone just hates it because of the DLC practice. No one likes it because of the DLC, but and no one wanted to play this game. Nobody wanted it. it it's a, it's the right reason. No, it's the right reason. It's the same. No, it's the same reason why people should have stopped playing Street Fighter 5. That game was ass on release, They're and then the DLC was just ass. Nothing, it doesn't matter, bro. It doesn't matter. They're not forcing you, but they want people want cooler. People want to play my. People want to play Rachel and all that shit. People want to play those characters. But why would I want to pay seventy nine ninety five for the season pass? Oh, Who the hell in the right mind pays over eighty dollars for a season pass for video games? Separately. Well, yeah, you can do that, but then you don't get any of the cool outfits, and that matters to the, to, to the casual yeah, players. Those are, that that matters to the casual. Those casuals. are called sheeps. Nah, man, they, them them Sheep. outfits though. Man. Damn, nigga, go to uh, I gotta have an attack on Titan stage, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I, was pre I was pretty pissed when I found out I couldn't buy that stage. <laughs> it wasn't even meant. Oh, it teases it, it, it's, it you too, because it's right there on the purchase page if you can't buy that thing. I got it, I had a Kasumi in that skirt. I got it. I remember when I was a kid playing Dio like 3 and 4. I had the collection, so I had all of them that had 4 on the 360. I am like. All the female characters. Bro, can I keep it up on with you, bro? Oh, well, I wasn't playing fighting games when I was a kid. You know what I was playing when I was a kid? Huh. I was nigga, I was playing like Sly Cooper, uh, fucking Crash oh, Bandicoot. Hell no, nigga, get away from hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me. I, bro, I just fucking. Uh, I, was, I didn't get into fighting games. What are you doing? What? What? Should I get into the stream? Why? I, it's a TED talk. I'm gonna clip no. it later. <laughs> I'm clipping this shit later. <laughs> oh, if I remember to, I will. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll text you and remind you. No one cares. No one cares. We're gonna upload this shit to YouTube. Running up the bikes, man. What bikes? What bikes? We're just running up the bikes. Who cares? We're trying to make Who that cares? Facebook revenue. Come on now. Yeah, we're trying to get that Facebook revenue. <laughs> trying to get the movie. I got. I got it. Yeah, man. I gotta, gotta get, get back that, on get that, that get stream them, now that I got them movie Zucker, shit. Get them Zuckerbucks. <laughs> Zuckerbucks were nice, bro. <laughs> they were nice. <laughs> Them bitches were nice, bro. Almost had six hundred dollars last time, bro. That shit was nice. That shit was nice. But um, yeah. This this talk about fighting games is nice. I've been enjoying it. I just, yeah, for real. Like, ain't no one I know really. I don't know. I talked to Devonte about it, bro. It's just, I don't know. It always goes back to the same conversation with him sometimes. Um, so it, and then like me and him talked about him a lot. So it's nice. Talking to people I don't actually talk to about fighting games. Really. Oh, you can talk to you can talk to about fighting games any day of the week. Real he shit. He came out uh, the house twice, 
in the past five years. Hey, look, hey, look. <laughs> came out the house twice. Hey, look, I, I know, I don't like to leave. Hey. I, I can't help that I'm a homebody, bro. Oh, Unless I'm going fishing or going to a rave or going to a tournament, I ain't leaving my goddamn house. Yeah, give me a, give me my fly fishing vest. And I'm out in the water fly fishing. Hey, yo, I'll play. I'll play. I'll first attend you with some fishing. Oh, bro, you'll get dusted. Quick, first to bro. ten fish I'll, caught. You'll first get to ten, first to ten fish I'll caught. Dust all of you in fishing. I don't yes. doubt it. How? Grenades. Man, I'm about to die for this. You had to conventionally <laughs> fish. Grenades are illegal, number one. Grenades. And if I catch you throwing dynamite in the water, I will personally Grenades. report you to the DNR. <laughs> How are you going to report me when you're both so? I, <laughs> I love fishing. I respect fish. Sorry. <laughs> That's like my favorite okay, pastime. Okay, okay Aquaman. Game. Goddamn. Dude, Dude yeah, call me you? Aquaman. We see them on the fish. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the bass at? <laughs> Dude, we're, walk we're gonna be walking by the river one day after a tournament or some shit, bro. You'll be like, damn, this is a nice river. <laughs> bass just comes flying out the water and slaps you in the face. <laughs> That's no, a five no, pounder right man, there. This man's chill. Oh, you're talking shit? Pike, come to me. <laughs> <laughs> Creatures of the <laughs> deep. <laughs> <laughs> bro, like a fucking piranha comes out nowhere and bites it in his nose. Fucking Gobi just comes, little ass Gobi just flies out the water and just sticks to your face. Is that it, man? <laughs> Bro, funny, so funny ass story. I was, up, I was up north with my dad, right? And holy shit, oh. I like checked over the boat to see like what he was catching. Bro, in the face of a fucking pike at the peak of the water, fucking just looked up at me like I'm about to shout your face. I literally reached for my knife. And I was like, oh boy. I you. Nah, bro, I nah, bro, nah, bro like, nah, shut up. Anyway, <laughs> what, what anyways, so you know how many times I've been stabbed by, like, like, you know, catfish and shit? Yeah. How the fuck do we get from talking about this to fishing? But anyway, <laughs> you, know you, you gotta fight the fish. You, do you know how many times? Games with these fish. Do you know how many times? Because there's like, fishing in Guilty Gear. Yeah, yeah. And you know how many times I've gone fishing, Zach Ryan, like, I've been stabbed by a catfish. They have poison in their um the fins, right? Oh, shit. And like, it, it's not like it'll kill you or nothing, but like, it burns, bro. It burn, burn. Doesn't so, like, sound pleasant. It stuns fish and you know shit, bro. That shit burns, you dude. Know burns? I've been bit by pike. I've been bit by mofin, bro. I've been like, I've almost had a pike latch onto my face because I was trying to get the hook out of his mouth and put it back, you know? Hey, yo, pike, a pike can catch a fade real quick. I, I hate pike. I'd be, I'd be swimming with them you know motherfuckers, bro. I'd be like, oh shit, there goes a the pike. This man really is Aquaman, you know like shit. <laughs> like, I mean, when I'm. Uh, like when I'm wading a river, I'm like when I'm walking in the river and stuff, you know, like I, I walk, I wade rivers and shit too when I fly fish, bro. Like you'll see like big pike like this just swim by and like, what's up, dude? And I'm just like, hey, how's it going, bro? And like they'll walk, they'll swim up to my leg and catch check me, it out. Catch me a bass real quick. <laughs> <laughs> what? The fish is inside. The, the fellow ten and seven throws a grenade. Oh my, oh my god. god! Shut <laughs> up! Shut That's up! That's the only man. way to go fish, bro. You know what's crazy? Uh, Feel from Louisiana. What noodling and shit? Yes. I want to. I, I I want to wrestle an alligator. Yeah, I want. I want to harp. Hang on. I want to oh, harpoon yeah. a shark. I want to get in the water and actually harpoon a shark. Yeah. I want to actually go noodling and catch like a like an eighty pound catfish. What is this, the Venture Bros. Hand. Michigan edition? Like goddamn. Dude, yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm into that. I'm into that kind of shit, dude. The only way you're harpooning a shark is virtual. No, you, no, you're oh, allowed. You can legally yeah, harpoon right. sharks, but you have to get um, what's it called? You have to go yeah. on a, uh, that's a why charter. They, that's why they out here charter. biting folk. You out here no. harpooning sharks? No, they're not shit. biting folk because of that, bro. They're yeah, biting. Sure? They bite people oh, because they have a shiny shit on them. Why would you go swimming with jewelry? B, number one. Because people like B, because you. Because they got little flippers and shit. And B, people go, like you. Oh my God! Less people shark. die from shark attacks and more people die from cow attacks. You got you got people out here. More people die from hippo attacks. Yeah. You got, you got people out here disturbing grizzly bears, walking on the nature trails and shit. I'm um, out, cat me a grizzly now, bear, bro. Give me a shotgun real quick, bro. And, and, and now he I'll got to go. Me a bear. I just, I, so I just imagine it's fun to this man you fucking. Are so good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm into shit like that. You know choke. what? I'm into that. I, can't, you know? I, I imagine especially just choke, like putting an alligator in a choke and be like, go to sleep. Bro, yeah, dude, go, go I want to sleep. wrestle an alligator. So, fun fact about alligators. I right? wanted to put my arm in the death roll. Spencer. My whole arm. Spencer, fun fact about alligators. They have no strength in their upper jaw. I know they don't. I know they don't, dude. That's why, like, I, I, so whenever people are like, why would you wrestle? I'm like, bro, once you get behind right them and you're on top of them, you shut their mouth. Oh, yeah, That's it. Help. I'm just like, then you wrap a, them up a, and I'm going to take them to the butchery. I'm a like, crab, oh, a crab. An alligator jerk. Right, I know anyway, why you want like, some like some alligator jerk. So I saw, because I saw this photo, this crab literally had an alligator mouth, food, mouth yeah, shut by literally that. just putting its, like, pincers, like, on the, like, wait, hold out your finger. Hold out your finger real quick. This is literally how the fucking crab had his fucking, on the alligator's mouth. The yeah, just I sat know, there like, like, I just like I've been I have been defeated. <laughs> ten match. But I mean, ten but that's, but that's hell. Like, that's, 
That tail will lay you out cold, though. That alligator tail will fucking lay somebody out. I saw these cops. Yes. That's what I'm saying. You need to chill when you're watching that movie. I watched these Florida cops try to wrestle an alligator. This tail smacked on the cops in the face and literally just laid on the pole. Bro, that'd be awesome, dude. This Everyone would come by the, the next day and be like, what's that on your face? about? Like, oh, I got my ass beat by an alligator. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you're going to be saying in the afterlife. You know what what afterlife? Bro, I'd be dead. It'd be like, dark. So I'd be yeah, like, be, here I am, floating in the abyss, dead because of an yeah, alligator. <laughs> Life complete. <laughs> there are worse ways to go out. Dude, that would be a sick way to die. Yeah, by an alligator not, or by a shark or some not. shit. That, that shit would be... Did I'd rather die that? like that than die of old age. you see that video on YouTube where the dude getting mauled by lions? I mean, I've watched people get mauled by bears, lions, oh, sharks. You know what, you know what animals still... I've watched people uh, get mauled by piranha today. Uh, you know what animals still so fucking crazy to me? Huh? Honey badgers. Things scare me. Well, in a hypothetical situation, a honey badger could kill a lion. No. Yeah. No shit. Could they? No. Yeah. No. Ow. No. So... The lion has no, to be... So... The, the honey badger's skin... It, as actually resistant to smoke on fire. Like, that's how much fat and, like, skin is underneath the honey yeah. badger's, like, fur. And the only spot where it's not fat is the nape of its neck. Really? So now, so a lion can literally bite into that shit and kill the honey badger. But literally, the honey badger can literally claw its throat open before it has. Like, there's a situation where both of them win. But honey badgers... No. You can literally go on YouTube and Google honey badger versus lion. I watched a honey badger fight five lions at once. Yeah, they, the problem is they're scared. They don't know what's How in the hell did we get to this point? point. Oh, no, because we don't know. Somebody we bought to... food. Are you not hungry? No. I ain't got money for no fucking food. Come on, man. I'm hungry. <laughs> I got like, I got like what? a little bit of gas. What are y'all giving me? And that's it. I'm I ain't got hungry, food I'm hungry, bro. I'm trying to eat something. What? Do y'all want to go get food? Uh, yeah, bro. All right. This has been the Coronaco Corner. We will cut this and I will tag y'all all in the shit. It's going on YouTube, I swear to God. All right, yes, sir. <laughs> I'm going to do it tonight. All right. I'm even going to keep the part about all the animals. <laughs>